Going on peeps hello 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 good afternoon everybody how are we doing hope you're all doing really really well i'm doing good i had a good night's sleep last night i think i needed it after that stream yesterday oh my god my eyes were gone when i finished streaming last night mm. ah so uh yeah i've had a good day today you know what i've had a really good day today so far it's been a good one um, so something really cool happened this morning. I want to talk to you about very quickly before we get into the game and stuff um, But as you guys all know because I talk about it a lot it, you, know, you guys know I'm on the carnivore lifestyle, right? You know, I'm on that whole meat-eating thing. Yeah Well, one of the things I've been trying to do lately over the last few weeks I've been trying to like cut the cost of it down just because like it was just it was just Not that it was overly expensive. I mean, I'm just trying to cut the cost down to make it a bit more comfortable and um last week i've done a video showing what my grocery haul was and i was going to do another one this week but i thought nah i won't do another one today i've done it last week so whatever but anyway i've done my grocery haul last week and it was a t it was like 70 quid for the week shopping right today i went and got a four weeks worth of food down at the supermarket and for the first time ever i got it i, I got it down so low i got it 50 52 pounds for the whole week shopping that's pretty good going man it's pretty good going 52 is is really good i mean dollars wise i don't know what that is in dollars hang on a minute there's a lot of you american guys are like what pounds what's that hang on a minute pounds to dollars so 53 pounds it was that's 66 us dollars I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of people buying like carnivore stuff in supermarkets in America. $66 don't get you very far in America. So yeah, basically $66 and I got a full week's worth of food, man. It's like 60 bucks. It's insane, right? But the amount of food I got for that 60 bucks, holy crap, guys. I got a lot of good stuff, man. I got like six pounds of ground beef. I got two ribeye, two big juicy ribeye steaks. I got a big box of chicken wings. Man, I got like 30 eggs, for like organic eggs, 30 organic eggs. I got 24 bottles of water and six six smaller bottles of sparkling water that I can have when I'm streaming. Cause so I look, that way I'm drinking Pellegrino Italian sparkling when I'm streaming. So it looks posh when I'm streaming, right? Cause I got the posh water when I'm streaming. Mm. Mm. So I got, I got the cheap still water when I'm not streaming. 
And then the expensive sparkling water when I am streaming. So that's kind of cool. So I got the nice, I got the nice water for when I'm streaming. So that's good. Um, we've got Duke in the chat that says start game. I mean, bro, when you get, when you become a big boy and you have your own YouTube channel and your own stream, you can decide when the games start and when things start. But while you're in my stream, watching my stream, you will sit down and be quiet, bro. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> sit down in your chair, put your hand down. This is not the time for questions. We'll get it. We'll start the game in a moment. Relax. <laughs> you thought it was a Heineken? Oh, no, bro. I don't drink beer. We drink, we drink sparkle. We drink, we drink Pellegrino sparkling water on, on the, uh, you know, that's, that's what I drink. Sparkling water, normal still water. It's all good. I'm only joking, Duke. We have a bit of bants on the channel. It's all right. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, really good shop this week. I got some good stuff. I got four tins of sardines because sardines are yum. Um, I know some of you guys don't like them, but yeah. Anyway, I got some sardines. So that was nice. And yes, yeah, so overall, it's been a really good, uh, really good shop today really good shop today so that was good anyway food stuff out the way i'm actually haven't eaten this afternoon I'm, I'm not hungry i'll probably eat after the stream before dragon arena tonight to be honest with you yeah so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna as you can tell from the thumbnail we're gonna jump on world, world of water first today not not last so we're gonna do some world of water clicks and get my dailies done on here and then we're gonna jump on two lords and jump on my main account and my rally trap and the free to play account and get the dailies done on there as well that'll take us for a good couple of hours and then i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna go watch some avatar on netflix because i'm watching the avatar uh last airbender live action that's on the netflix in a moment it's really really good if you've got netflix go check it out it's, it's pretty solid uh the action's pretty good they could probably do a bit better with the character development but i mean most programs these days have problems with that right so yeah, it's pretty good. June 2, yo, June 2 came out. June 2 came out today. Yo, Chetiana, I've seen the uh, Good Morning Daryl. By the way, good morning, Ainsley. Good morning, everybody. Pop Ryan, lady. Sorry, I didn't say good morning to her. Good morning, Stone Cold Hat. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Ryan was first today, actually. Let's go, Ryan. What's up, Biznip? McSporran, what's up, bro? Wiggles. Hello, guys. Perk. Hello, peeps. Sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> So, yeah, live action avatars go. June 2 came out today, and I really want to see it. But here's the thing. My dad hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen June 1, and he hasn't obviously seen June 2 because it just came out today. He saw the original June from, like, the 1970s, which is actually still a pretty good movie. But he hasn't seen the remakes. So I'm going to get him to come over to my gaff, and we're going to sit down with, you know, some, some munch and watch June 1 on my big flat screen. We're going to watch June 1 here. And then once he's seen June 1 at my place, we're going to book in for the cinema to go and see June 2. But I kind of don't want to uh, watch it without him, you know? So, Prince, watch June on stream together. Yeah, that's a great idea if I want to get a massive copyright claim. I mean, you know, we could do that. I don't know if it's going to be a great idea. But, mm. anyway, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. Mm. June 1, you watched half and got bored. Man, it gets better in the second half. June's great. June's a good show, man. Oof. June's really good. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm waiting for anyway. So, anyway. Enough of the chit-chat. Let's get into the game and get some dailies done. That's what we're here for. Let's get it, peeps. You ready? Let's go. look at that i've got it all set up already for us so we're gonna we're gonna get world of water done first today normally we do world of water second after the lord's mobile stuff but today we're reversing it today i'm putting it on the flip today so we're gonna actually get the world of water stuff done first and then we're gonna go and do the lord's mobile stuff so i decided to you know change it up a little bit today um i am streaming da tonight yes i am streaming da tonight so something exciting is going to happen here in a minute. Well, I say exciting. My RNG kind of sucks. So it ain't going to be that exciting. But I've got I've got enough gold pearls to do a to do a summon. I'm going to start off with this. I got nine gold pearls. We can do a summon. The only thing I really want out of it, I mean, I guess any 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 level five, ten fragments is going to be good, to be honest with you. 
I still don't have the Moonfish unlocked and I still don't have the Tuna unlocked. So I kind of need both of those. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, I never get anything good off this. I never get anything good. I'm not going to be lucky. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen. Okay, let's have a look. I have bad luck every time I do this. Okay, I got a four star. I got a 10 fragments for the back saddle fish. I don't know if that's any good or what. I don't know. I'll have to check that out in a minute. There you go. See, look, one fragments. All the, every time. Every time. I, I don't... <laughs> I'm never going to get a five star summon off that. It's never going to happen. All right, let me get rid of that. All right, let me just start these clicks off. I got a bunch of gifts. Okay. Oh, wow, they're still popping. Holy crap. How many gifts did I just get? Loads. You guys are going crazy. Uh, okay, let's do that. And click on. Oh, we're doing the expansion. Okay, we're going to max this out. Okay. Looking good. Click that. All right, nice. So I've got some free ones to do. Let's do the free ones. You got the tuna? No way, bro. Hey, Prince, hit the contribute button. I already contributed this morning. I bought some packs this morning. Nothing too crazy. I just got a couple of little ones because I was doing a couple of things. I'll show you what I've done. I bought a couple of packs this morning on the cell thing so I could uh, so I could upgrade these to blue. So now I've got these three blue, these three blue, these three blue four stars. And I just got these last three to do. But I upgraded these to blue this morning. Yeah, li little by little, I'm, t I'm, I'm moving things up, you know. The reason I did it today was because the um, the submarine canyons got the challenge on, which is the cell challenge. So I decided to do it. It's like a garpa cover levels. I can't beat this crab. <laughs> yeah, I can't beat the crab, unfortunately. Um, but I got myself up to 16, which puts me at rank 51, which is not terrible. It's not terrible. I, I, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You did not let me join before me increasing requirements. I mean, you can join. If you've got a brand new account, you can join. Just say you're a brand new account. You're watching the stream. Please let me join and you'll be able to get in. It's not a problem. I did say that, that new peeps can join. At, at the spaces right now, we are almost full. 93 out of 95. We're opening up another five, the last five spaces as we speak. So they are getting opened. Um... Yeah, they are getting open. Let me check my members. Let's have a look at the tab poles. We might be opening some more spaces in two seconds. Okay, blackout. Two days off. One day off. These guys are going to end up getting kicked because they're just not coming online. So, I don't know who these guys are, but Ikus, Blackout, and Akira. If you are not, if you don't start being active, you're going to be gone. So, just a, just a word of the wise. Anybody else that's offline for over a day that's going down a tadpole? Let's have a look. Mm -mm. We're going to try and... F I don't think so. I mean, I hope not. Everyone's pretty active, to be honest with you. Yeah, no one's over a day. Oh, Dobby Wick needs to, needs to start being a bit more active. 23 hours, Mr. Bunny, 21 hours. Trey, 21 hours. Mm, I don't know about that. But then none of them go down just yet. And I, I, honestly, I don't think any of the R3s are going to be over a day. I'd be surprised if there's R3s that are over a day. These guys are the active ones. Yeah, like everyone's good there. And then the R4s are normally pretty good. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Apart from God forgive who's taking a break at the moment. That's fine. All right, cool. Well, that looks pretty good. We've still got a couple of people, like two or three people that are offline a couple of a day or two. We need to get them online if not they're going to be gone we'll just replace them with people that are going to play the game um let's go ahead and do that uh i'm not in ocean 25 i don't know how to migrate okay so to migrate i think you can't go over a certain castle level like a certain coral level okay uh, but to migrate what you gotta do is you have to hit the this button down here you see where my mouse cursor is moving right now this button here it's like a little pin you press that that takes you to like the map view of like the ocean that you're in, okay? And then you have to hit this button here, look, on the left hand side, the scroll with the little world icon. You click on that, and that's gonna bring up all the servers. And then what you do is you basically go to Ocean 25, you click on Ocean 25, and then you migrate into Ocean 25 by clicking like, I don't know, there and just click on 
teleport or something migrate wherever the whatever it is you do get a a beginner's teleport so you can do that so that's how you do it all right um okay we've got a third seashell and because i bought a couple of packs this morning only like one dollar and five bucks a couple of little ones um like it's gonna basically get this done a little bit quicker so that's kind of nice let's go rally an octopus it stays closed i don't know in that case then i mean i know it says closed for me because i'm level 20 coral but it might not say closed for a new account i don't know i, I never migrated in this game i don't know seven days till it's open all oh, right okay yeah i honestly don't know mate to be honest with you if it doesn't let you do it as a new account i've got no answers you have to like contact customer support because i haven't got a clue how to do it that's just my guess that, that makes the logical that's the law i just said the, the logical guess I, I i guess oh by the way guys i opened up tier seven yeah i now got the bowed fiddler crabs the fried egg jellyfish and the mottled eagle race I now have tier seven troops open, baby. Let's go. And I got my dolphin to three stars as well. That's pretty good. Make a new account and start in server 25. I'm sure you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can do that. It's fine. All right, cool. So now look, that's a plus seven as well. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Okay. It will not let me apply being mitchell said the requirement of five million okay well let me let me set the requirement lower then okay hold on so this is gonna be hang on a minute i gotta try and work i gotta remember how to do it hold on where do i do this alliance emblem authority alliance info settings there we go edit public recruit i see okay so set non pop wait set public non-public what hang on a minute nice no, non-public wait i'm not sure hang on one of one of one of these one of these allows people to apply the other one lets people straight in qualified laws may join lines without saying oh no 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 all right so just take that down to like i don't know 50, uh, 50 000. right there you go uh, if you're not, you, you should be over 50,000 might. That's really low. There you go. I just lowered it to 50,000. So, well, in fact, lower it. Just lower it to 500. Look, there you go. It's at 500 now. Anybody can join now, but you got to apply. Okay. I've lowered it right down. So you can apply now, okay? Yeah. Dragon Arena time? No, later. Uh, 9, p 9 p.m. my time. 9 p.m. Uh, but, but, but yeah, so I'm doing the clicks on my accounts and then I'll do the, uh, we'll do Dragon Arena later. All right. So we've got the rally up, which is good. There we go. So let's get that done. This game is same as puzzles and chaos. I disagree. I'm going to, I'm going to disagree. Um, I find this game, I mean, puzzles and chaos is a good game. I actually think it's all right. You know what though i feel like in a way i, I mean the puzzles and chaos is a good game I, I, it's not bad like it's it's very similar to it's very similar to this right it's very similar but it's just it's just it's the same it, i guess i kind of enjoy playing this game because it's got a different theme you know rather than playing something that's got a similar theme to lords it's nice to play a game that's got a different theme i find it more refreshing don't get me wrong i don't mind playing other mobile games that are more like lords with like you know cav and infantry and range and all that stuff i don't mind but like when you already play a game like that it's hard to kind of like play it long term because you already play a game like that so it gets a bit repetitive you know um because it's all under the ocean and stuff it, uh, it's cool actually funny enough when i got off the stream yesterday there was another event that was available that i didn't even activate i didn't even realize and then after I finished the stream, they activated it and it was really good. It made all these little monsters appear all over a hive and we had to like all hunt them and try and kill as many waves as possible. And the rewards were kind of pog. I gotta be honest, the rewards were actually really, really good. Like, like really good. I was really surprised by how good the rewards were. Troop defense, let's just do that up. There we go, boom. You reached 1.5 million, I just applied. Oh, sweet, okay, let's have a look. 
There he is, Dr. Stone Cold Heart. Nice, and you are in. Boom. Welcome to the fam, man. We were trying to tell you there was an extra event if you wanted to stream it. I oh, know, I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize. It was so annoying. After I, I got off the stream, and then I was like, yo, I should have I should have streamed this. I totally should have streamed this, but it's what it is. Don't worry about it. Mistakes happen. I'll do it, I'll do it next time. Um, right, let's get all these. Oh man, I love I just love collecting stuff in this game. There's so many rewards in this game. I'm enjoying it more and more. I've got to be honest with you. I didn't know if I was going to play it long term, but I think I'm that probably. I think I may. You know, I'm enjoying this. What I like about this is I I I under, I'm not I'm not oblivious to the fact that I know, I know it's paid it's it's paid to win. I mean, every single mobile game out there is pretty much pay to win apart from one or two that i know of they and even those have pay to win mechanics for certain aspects of the game right so i understand that absolutely but what i like about it is i'm still able to make fairly good progress and i don't have to go crazy yeah that's kind of nice i gotta be honest with you it's kind of refreshing yeah, there's a lot of things to click on but i mean if you just like do your dailies and do the things you're supposed to do you do actually get some pretty good rewards for those of you that are in the chat that are actually playing this with me right now i know a few of you are here in the stream how do you find the since you've been playing this game how do you find the reward system like do you feel like the game rewards you very well for the time you put in and the the events you do how do you guys feel about it that are in the stream that are actually playing this right now that are in the guild because i know there's a few of you are in the stream right now yeah i mean yeah cam i i agree i think the reward system is is pretty solid to be honest i don't have any complaints of it is it good yeah yeah it's pretty good like the, re the rewards are pretty good that's what i like about it like you do things and you actually get solid rewards which is which is kind of nice i'm gonna create some crabs like this morning, for example, I had, I got like a hundred one hours one hours reproduction speed ups. It was either that or something else. It might have been no, they were construction speed ups. I got just because I'd done a certain level on that that thing that challenge thing this morning. I ended up getting like a hundred hours worth of construction speed boost this morning, which was kind of nice. All right, and that was free. All right. It's it's not like i'm right at the beginning of the game my car my, my coral reef which is my castle is at level 20 so i'm not at the beginning of the game i'm i'm over halfway towards 35 that's which is the max and like, i'm still getting really good prizes to help me level up you don't really see that very often it's surprising all right i want to level up this turtle habitat because i want to get tier sevens not tier, not tier sevens i want to start working towards my tier eights but yeah, I opened up my tier 7 troops, which is kind of good. Yeah, I want to level up this turtle habitat. Let's do that. And let's speed that up. Yeah, look, I got 100 building, 100 hours worth of building speed ups this morning. It's nice. We can push some buildings this morning now. I need some resources, though. Uh, let's use, like, I don't know, like 20 we'll get corals there you go open like two i'm like three mil there you go same goes for this let's open up like 20 of these seaweed there you go and i will open like three mil seaweed and we'll open up some sand don't have a loads of let's get some sand. There you go. These ones you don't have to open up as much. 120,000 is fine. There we go. So now we can upgrade this turtle thing again. And we'll speed it up. And level 19 should open up tier 7s for the turtles. 
There you go. So we're on 19 now. That should give me tier 7s. There you go. So I did have tier 6s, which are these. And now I have tier 7s. So I've only got like 4 more tiers of troops to get to. But yeah, we're on tier... We're up to tier 7 already, which is nice. Then what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade... You can upgrade the previous tiers to the higher tiers. So I'm going to upgrade these tier 5s to tier 7s. And it costs less resources and less time to do upgrades as opposed to just training new troops. So I'm going to just upgrade a couple to get a few done. And then I'm just going to just train some slowly. There you go. Cool. Um, I see all your RSS buildings are low level. That's killing me. Yeah, so basically they are. Uh, like what I'm doing at the moment just to like prioritize the leveling up the rest of the stuff that's in here, yeah? Is I'm doing basically what I do in Lords. I have like one RSS building that's the main one that I level up. And then the other ones are low. Until such time as I get these, until I get the rest. And same with the Infirms. They're all low except for one. That's 19. Once I get everything leveled up to 35 where it needs to be, where it's maxed. I will come back and I'll level up all these RSS buildings and stuff. But I don't see it as a priority to keep these RSS buildings all high. I have enough RSS to do what i got to do rough thereabouts. So, I mean, maybe I will upgrade them. But like, I don't feel like it's necessary right this second. I probably should, but it's okay for the moment. There we go. And now I've made it into an alliance with but my progression will go a lot more rapidly. Yeah, it will do, bro. Hell of a lot rapidly. Let's take this. All right, we'll get this guy. Let's get this started. I'm not going to speed it up. We'll start that. It's a 12 hour upgrade. We'll get that to level 20. I've already got my infirm going for 14 hours there. So let that tick. Research. Combat. Actually, let's go over to development. Can I get this? I got, wait, I got to get to level 19 on, the, on this. Uh, let me speed that up. I wasn't going to speed that up. Let me speed this uh, seaweed thing up. I want to level up the research building. There we go. Let's level up the research building to 19. In fact, let's try and take it to 20. Oh, I need more coral. Okay. Good job I've got quite a bit of coral. Let's just open up like 5 mil. Alright, speed that up. Can I get it to 20? Oh, I need sand. I need 600,000 sand. Ooh. I need, hang, hang on. No, not quite enough. There you go. Nice. Can, can, I, can I speed this? That's going to use a lot of speed ups in it, but... Mm. Don't think I have quite enough to speed that up. Let that tick for, Let that tick until tomorrow, and I'll speed it up tomorrow. Okay, so we can't do no... Re we can do research. Can we do research while, can we do research while it's uh, doing the construction? Ah, okay, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. So like when you're when you're got when you're constructing on your research building, if you click on the research building. Oh, you can still click on research. Okay, cool, never mind. Talking out my butt. Oh, so you can build you can upgrade the building and do research at the same time. That's good. Don't let Terrell see those coral. He'd be looking at you weird. <laughs> Trust me, when you hit level 30, Reef, you'll need those RSS. Yeah, no, you're probably right. I'll probably will need to upgrade the RSS buildings, but for now I'm just trying to get the get the Great Barrier Reef up as much as possible. Okay, let's go and claim that, and that, and that. How much I got? Oh, wow, I got loads of claim. Daily tasks, we'll grab that and that. Nice, we're almost done on the dailies. Look at this. I need to make some more anemones. Let me speed them up. And then we'll make some more. There we go. And that should be another one done. Nice. All right, purchase something from the Alliance shop. I normally just go and get some speed ups, um, which is why we have a good supply of five minutes in there so people can do that. Uh, let me put some more one hours in because they're all gone. All right, let's just put 50 in. Top that up a little bit. Everything else is good. Uh, let me put, I'll put a couple of monster skill resets in there as well. In case anybody needs one. Uh, rename card. I'll put a couple of those in case anyone wants to change the name. 
Lord skill resets. I'll put five of those in. March recalls. I'll put 10 of those in. In case anybody wants one of those. Okay. VIP points. I can get like 3,900 points with my points. I need more than that to get my VIP up. I need like a lot more. I'm saving up. I'm saving up the alliance points so I can buy a bunch of VIP and level my VIP up to level 7. That's what I was trying to do. Right. Just joined the stream. Did you saw the expedition update? Yeah, I'm going to talk about it in a bit once I get onto Lords. I'm just doing my dailies on um, on World of War at the moment. Uh, okay, use that. Oh, shit. Oh, I just got some more um, fortification crystals. Hold on. Can I do any other upgrade? Ooh. Mobility is troop defense. Defense is probably the worst skill in this game, but no. we'll level it up. Okay. Nice. Um, upgrade a hero three times. I don't. I can't, oh, I, I got that. Yeah, what's this fish unlock? Is this any good? What is this? What does it do? Jellyfish, jellyfish. Oh, it's a jellyfish attack fish. So this is actually pretty good. Restore HP to all allies. Oh my god, it's a healer. I didn't know there was a four star healer. I found another healer. Yeah, it's a healer. Oh. I didn't know there was another healer in the game. What the hell? Yeah, it's a jellyfish attack fish. That's actually good. That's a spear, it's a spear attack fish. Gonna need that. Uh, let's level up this thing. There we go. Leveling up my leafy sea dragon at the moment trying to get it above level 34 get it get it awakened and all that oh, i do have the moonfish didn't even know i had this i need to level this up as well stamina cost reduction that's really good reproduction cost reduction mm, it's really good yo shady thanks for the membership bro i appreciate it don't forget to refresh your stream you have access to all your emojis thank you thank you thank you could you do more octopus rallies please yeah 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 no worries um octopus level 23 click on that like that five minutes get my march i need to I need to save it i've got more tier sevens now i'm just ramping up my tier sevens now i've got a lot of tier sixes still i need to try and convert them all right there we go Still debating on the group or the cuttlefish. I have 20 shards. Rally capacity is nice, but the army stats are nice too. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you're probably going to end up wanting to get both of them at some point. But yeah, just I'd go with the I'd go with the, um, the stats. My personally, yeah, the army one. That's what I'd go with. Do the capacity later. Uh, oh, I got nine on that one. Oh, we're probably going to get some uh, Nemo fishes. I always get Nemos on this. Oh, I didn't get nothing. Just single shards. Oh, I got a purple one as well. Let's have a look. I got a Napoleon fish. Okay. Oh, and a purple fire fish. Oh, I got a couple of drops there. I don't think... Was that a new one? No. I can upgrade my lobster. Ooh, that's good. That gives me increased march speed towards octopuses and creatures. Yo... Wake up, baby. Wake up. Look at that. That's gone up to 18% now. Nice. Attack bonus when attacking wild creatures and octopus. Oh my god. I need to level this thing up. 18% extra attack bonus against octopuses and wild creatures. Yo, I need to upgrade this thing. I need to get this to level 70, 71. I gotta upgrade the lobster. Uh, Napoleon fish. What's that? Oh, that's not very good. I don't like that one. Um, all right, okay. Yeah, that's that lobster's actually pretty good. Um, let's go over here. Claim that. Get that one done. Nearly done. On the dailies. Uh, purchase an item in the underground sea mining shop. Um, a lot of people probably save up fragments to get moonfish fragments from here, but I don't. <laughs> Because I'm, I, I generally like buying. I want to buy these, protein catalysts for promote. Yeah, 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 yeah. These things, I like buying these. 
Because if you buy protein catalysts, it allows you to upgrade these things. And look at the stat increase. That's nice. Boom. Now I need 300 to get up to five stars. I like, up I like doing upgrading the proteins. Get to, I need to upgrade this to 20 so I can get my next set of proteins open. What would... What was that anyway? Is that that's that's the uh, bio center I got to upgrade, isn't it? Let's upgrade this healing coral. I think I got enough to do that. There you go. And now we can get the bio center going. Do I have enough to do it? Oh, it's going to be close. Ooh, just about. There we go. Boom. Level twenty bio center. Nice, nice gonna level up this as well there we go um so now i've unlocked this one there you go so now i need to go back to the underground mining sea shop i've just used all my things so <laughs> i can't get i can't buy any more now but like i've got to buy one each of those a globular a roptory and a fibrous get one of those each and then basically put those that's going to give me more stats that's good that's good so I've opened up my second, my second proteins. Okay. Life essence. Where'd you get that? Quick purchase. How much is 25? Ah, oh, I didn't know you can just use diamonds to buy that. Oh. oh, oh, they've all got it on it, look. So this gives me what? An extra 2% troop HP, troop attack, and... Is it the same on all of it? Oh, it's army stats on every single one. Just might as well put, I'm going to put it on the heart. Okay, you need 100 for the next one, and that doubles it to 4. Oh, so that's another thing you can level up as well to get extra stats. I didn't even know that. I was wondering what that was. That's why I clicked it because it said level zero. So on every single one, there is also an army stat upgrade you can do with life essence, which you can either purchase at 100 diamonds each or... Hang on. I don't know if there's any other way to get those. Ooh, which one do I take? Mm. I'm gonna take the small cell nucleus. Almost got this done as well. Hang on, sorry. Let's open these up. I'm just opening things right now. Grab that. I got seven four stars here. Get them on that. And I got a five star. Oh, a puffer fish fragment. Nice. What else I'm going to get? Got that. All right, then we can upgrade this. And we can also upgrade this. Oh yeah, we boosted some stats this morning. This is nice. All right, cool. Ooh, nice, five more. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Where is that? Let me go use that. That was actually kind of nice. Where is it? Four star hero selection card. Uh, let me, I don't know. Hang on a minute, how many? I only need two, I need two, I need two. Let's just use two. On the uh, shrimp. Nice, and then I'll use the other three on, wait, queen angelfish. I don't even think I've got that one. Mm. 
What's this? XP bonus. Healing cor- mm. What's this one? Coral product. No, that's crap. That's not that great either. It's mobular troop. Yeah, and I don't want that. The box fish. That's a good one. It's got rally capacity on it. This one's got curial production, evolution speed, true capacity. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get this one. This one's got, this is a mobular actual attack hero. Oh, that's, that's, that, that, that right there is a freaking army hero. All right, let's just get this one then. We'll get that one. We'll get the army hero. But now I can actually upgrade my shrimp to level four. Boom. Oh man, look at those stats. Crab who troop HP jumps up 10%. I get another two, another hundred percent on attack skill, and another ten percent on crab attack. Ooh, let's get that one done. Nice. Yo, this crab hero is coming along quite nicely. We're at plus four now on that, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade uh, the lobster. I want to upgrade this lobster. I want to get this to seventy-one. Because it gives me extra attack bonus and stuff on octopuses and stuff. Yo, what's up, Morbid? How you doing, bro? Uh, check your PMs and see what I'm making for my baby shower tomorrow. Oh, damn, bro. Look at that. Mincemeat, bacon, cheese. Mmm. That looks like a feast. I could totally eat that. Looks good, buddy. Hope you enjoy it. Baby shower. Hope you hope the baby shower goes well tomorrow, bro. How is the bubby? How's the bubby and the mummy doing, man? How you all doing over there? In in uh All doing all doing good? Yeah, it looks amazing, bro. It looks awesome. How's everyone doing? Alright. Okay. Everyone's doing great? Nice, nice man. I'm glad, bro. I'm glad. That's awesome, dude. Awesome. Very awesome. Uh, let me hold this. We need to catch up at some point, dude. I ain't spoke to you for a while. I would have jumped on the Discord call with you last night, but I was tired when I got off that stream. It was so late. I was like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I went to bed. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Wrong button. Do, 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 do. All right. So let's go and do the rest of these uh, dailies. There we go. Dailies are done. That's good. And I don't need to do anything else down here. Actually, there's some other stuff I've got to do quickly. i got to do this. We've got to do the uh, arena. Let's challenge. I'm just going to put it on all. Oh, I don't care if I lose. I'm just going to do three of these. Do -do. Yes, you do. Get the points for the Gamba event. Yeah, I know. I've got to do the triple seven. Yeah, I'm not finished on it yet. I've got to do, the, I've got to do this triple seven thing. I'll send you more pics later on when the food is done. And for sure, we can chat this weekend. But after my baby shower, for sure. But oh, nice, bro. That's cool. Yo, that dude from SCQ is promoting again. <laughs> Yo, look at it. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, man. you are promoting me on the kingdom message. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, smash the like button, guys. Get that like button pressed. He does that. He uh, he sends up a little... He does that when I go live. It's kind of cool. I appreciate it. So we're just doing the arena right now. I'm just challenging some peeps. I don't mind if I lose. It's not a problem. I just want to get three attempts done. Like, I always do better if I do it manually myself. But sometimes I just put on auto because I can't be arsed. I just let it do it on auto. Hey Prince, 33rd anniversary tomorrow. Gonna be gone for two days. Don't kick me, please. <laughs> no, I won't run. It's alright. Just send the send the send uh, send Cam a message so that we know. White Widow says Lord's Fur Lord's Fur out. What? It's not Solomon. It was me. What are you talking about? Oh, was it you? Oh, it was you. Oh, it was Firat that did it. Ah, I thought it was Solomon that did it. Because always Solomon that does those kingdom messages. Thanks, Firat. Thank you very much, Firat. Can you send me the name of your favorite Naruto character? Bro, you don't know my favorite Naruto character? Come on, bro. Have a guess. Come on. Have a guess. 
I've got, I've got, uh, you know what? I've got, I've got two models. I would say both of them are my favorites. It's very difficult for me to choose between the two of them. There's two that are my favorite characters in Naruto. Oh man, you don't even watch the show. Okay. What's up, Shirag? I'm doing good, bro. How are you? My two favorite, I've got two favorite characters. I'll, I'll tell you both of them. Because if you're doing anything for my birthday, which I think that's why you're asking. You crazy man. Um, anything that has either of these two characters on would, would, make, would put a smile on my face. So I've got two favorite characters in Naruto. Uh, one of them is um, Utachi Uchiha, which is Sasuke's brother. Not Sasuke Uchiha, his brother, Itachi. Itachi Uchiha and... Um, fuck me, I can't remember his name now. What the hell? I've just had a brain fart. Why can't I remember his name? Give me a second. I'm having a brain fart right now. Shit. I can't remember his name. I've got now, now, now. I, I, I had to look it up. I couldn't remember his name. It just went woo, out of my head. Kakashi, yeah, Kakashi Hatake. There you go. They're my two. They're my two favorite characters. Kakashi Hatake and. Sasuke's brother, Itachi Uchiha. There you go. They're my two favorite characters in the Ruro. I had a massive brain fart then. I could not remember his name. <laughs> oh my God. That was crazy. Uh, let me refresh this a sec. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to go for D's. Yeah, have D's nuts. He's going to kick my ass. Watch this. Going to try though. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Thank you, bro. Whatever it is, don't go crazy, please. You got the bubby in there and stuff. Make sure you, you know, priorities, yeah? You ain't got to get me nothing for my birthday, dude. I'm just saying, you don't have to do that. It's okay. But if you feel the need to, just don't go crazy. Because, like, you know, last year, Morbid bought me that Proverbi Prince sign. That's where it came from. Morbid bought this for me. It's really cool. I love it. Alright, we need to come on, come on, come on, fishes. Come on. Win for me. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Oh, what a heal. Clutch. Can I name my top five animes? Alright, so number one. Oh my god, that does loads of damage. Even with the heal, I'm not gonna win here. Oh my god. Hang on a sec. Oh no. Oh, it was so close as well. Big hill. It might, I might, I could still. Wait, wait, let me do it on the. Get off auto. Get off auto. Oh my god. Um, I, I got no, no things over there to attack it with. There's nothing over on that side. Oh, this I can. Oh my god, there's nothing. He's gonna kill me. Bro, I'm getting I'm getting cock blocked right here. There's nothing I can do. There's actually nothing I can I got a heal. Oh shit. I'm getting actually cock blocked. <sighs> the I can't I've got nothing. Oh, there's this one. Alright, there's another one. There's another one. Okay, here we go. Another one. Oh, the clutch. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, we beat him. Nice. That was good. Um, favorite animes in the top five animes. 
I mean, I'm not. I don't watch. I don't watch loads and loads of anime, but like the ones I have watched and the ones I've got, the ones I enjoyed the most, I would say number one. I mean, Naruto. I'm sorry. I really, really enjoy Naruto. Like Naruto Unleashed, Naruto Shippuden, everything. Like, I'm a big Naruto fan. I really enjoy Naruto. So Naruto is gonna be number one for me. Number two, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is awesome. I really, really like that. Number three would be Death Note. I really like Death Note. I think it's really good. So yeah, Death Note would be number three. Number four would be Black Clover. I like Black Clover. I didn't think I'd like it until I did like it. So yeah, Black Black Clover, I think is really, really good. And you know what? I actually, number five, I actually um, would say Full Metal Alchemist. That'll be my, that'd be that one. Like Full Metal Alchemist and then underneath that, I'd probably say My Hero Academia would be like below that. But I like Full Metal Alchemist. I haven't seen Bleach. You know what I really want to watch? I really want to watch... Um, I don't really want to start watching One Piece because there's so many episodes. You'll never see me again. <laughs> I'll just disappear. Like, One Piece, there's so many episodes of One Piece, it's difficult to get into. But I would like to uh, watch One Punch Man because what I think One Punch Man looks pretty, pretty good. Like, I kind of want to try that out. A little tiny fly, bro. Does it go away? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, One Punch Man would be really good. Yeah, those are my. Those are the ones I like. Sorry, Mike. I hit you in the arena. Test both sets out. Okay, don't worry about it. Did you beat me? my top five it's fairy tale black clover one punch man overlord oh overlord as well with oh man overlord's awesome overlord would be like number number six for me i don't know actually maybe overlord's better than uh, no i don't think overlord's better than full mech and full metal alchemist full metal alchemist is awesome wait what's my defense team looking like oh bro my defense team's not even my defense team scuffed what is this Oh, that's better. Oh, now it's gone to 4 4. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, my defense. I got my real, the proper defense team in now. So that little yellow thing out. All right. Yo, Zach is first, man. What? Uh, yo, Zach, you're. Holy shit, dude. Look at this dude's heroes. Damn, this guy's going in. Plus two, plus two, plus four, plus two, plus... Jesus. Like, that kicks my, mine's ass, to be honest with you. Mm. Oh, this one's going to be sketch. Let's give it a go, though. Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't seen that. Is it a good one? Oh, okay. Any list without Hunter x Hunter is L, uh, L list. <laughs> I've never seen Hunter x Hunter, to be honest with you. Never seen it, dude. But I bet it's good. If you're saying it's good, it's probably good. I see, I wouldn't have gone for that one. I would have gone for the healer, but okay. Yo, I'm going to take this off auto in a minute because it keeps doing some weird moves. I'm taking it off auto. Yeah, off auto. Get off auto. Get off auto. Thank you. All right, okay. Hold on a sec. See? I know how to do this. That was a good move. I just wiped him out with that big, massive combo. dead never mind there we go all right that puts me at ranking 115 i want to try and get into the top 100 
Oh, he's got a 210 level fish. I ain't friendly. I ain't hitting that guy. Uh, what have you got? Mac Matter. He's got a level 200 lionfish. I ain't touching that either. They've been pushing like one particular fish up really high to help him with this. Well, this guy looks a bit more better. Let's go for this guy. Hunter X Hunter is, is awesome. Too bad they're not finishing it. Oh, well, that gives. I definitely don't want to watch it then if they're not ever going to finish it. That would be. That would be like. So annoying to watch and watch a show for like loads of episodes and then you find out that they're not going to finish it. Oh my god, that would drive me mad. Pause, 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 pause. There's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire. Hold on. Oh, big hit. Oh, wow, big fat combo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, you guys are about to get clapped. Watch this. Boom. And then I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit the wow. That's massive. Oh, yeah, 1500. Good night. I'm going to save that hill. That shark's nearly dead. All right now, I'm going to heal. Now I'm going to use that. Shark's dead. Oh, wrong button. Um, how much I can do here is there? Green. There you go. Sheesh, would be sick to see HXH back. Yeah, I, I haven't. Would be good if it. I don't like watching stuff they don't finish, you know. Oh, 98. There you go. That'll do. I agree, mate. That's why I watched it three times. <laughs> so it must be good then if you if you watched it three times, even though there's no actual end to it. I'd find that frustrating, to be honest with you. Um. Okay. Got freebie roll. Nice. Okay, that's that. Right, let's go get my lucky sevens. This is the last day I can do this. Is there any other... Wait, is there any other dailies I need to claim first? Hold on a minute. 160. Let me just see if I can get these dailies all done. Because you get extra points in there for doing it. I'm not doing all the rift right now. I'm just going to do one go to get the daily done. This is level 56. I'm, I'm, maybe I can do this. I don't know. Oh, wait. Hang on. Take that out. Put that in. No, wait. Take that out. Put that in. Prince only likes starting games and not finishing. Oh, that's harsh, George. <laughs> Yo, I actually finished um, Last Epoch yesterday. Well, obviously there's more to do. But I completed the campaign yesterday on Last Epoch. So that's good. And we're going to play Final Fantasy X tomorrow. We're going to do like a four hour stream tomorrow on Final Fantasy X. So we're going to get really close to the end to Final Fantasy X tomorrow. If you like Naruto, Baruto is cool. Ah, uh, yeah, so Baruto, I started watching it. I watched like the first four or five episodes and like, it looks like it's going to be good because I didn't know whether Naruto was actually going to be in it, but he is obviously, he's the Hokage and he actually, he actually turns up and does a bunch of fighting in it, which is kind of good. So I actually kind of like, want to watch it but i'm waiting until it all comes out on blu-ray so i can go and buy the full set and then just binge on it because i hate waiting for episodes i like to Yo, what's up Vedan? i like to actually watch it will you play more last epoch yeah yeah i'm gonna do some farming some target farming on my on my last epoch account um and then i'll probably end up streaming maybe like when I'm ready to do some more dungeons and stuff, some more decent stuff, rather than you guys just watching me target farm. All right, cool, that's done. Let's come out of there. Claim that. Oh yeah, 165 points. That like gather, gather, boost production. That's easy enough. Boost production, confirm, done. All right, so the last four are just gather. I ain't doing gathering. Can't be asked with gathering. All right, so now we can obtain these. If I do the gathering, I get an extra. Oh, I get an extra two crystals for doing the gathering. Ooh, I might do the gathering. Maybe. Yo, dude. 
Dude, dude, dude. Beat him, beat him, beat him. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 gifted, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wow. Who just got gifted memberships? There's a few of you that just got gifted memberships. Uh, Ishmael. Uh, Killer Koala, Send Nudes, Cullen King, Jiggy, Time King, YM, Abd, Chris, and Brad. All got gifted memberships from Veden. Make sure you say thanks, guys. And thank you very much, Veden. I do appreciate the support as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, don't forget to refresh your streams, guys. Get access to your emotes. Um, for those of you that have never had a membership, that means that you can now join the Discord. You can join the Discord and join the VIP area if you want to. Okay, so uh, the link to the Discord is in the description below. You can join it whether you're a member or not. You don't need to be a member to join the Discord. You're all welcome to join. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to miss a stream or a video, that's the best way to do it. Join the Discord. Um, okay. I might as well gather a couple of, because like, you get another two of these rolls. I might be able to do another two rolls later. Right, let's see what we get. I've got uh, six, six gems. Let's see if we get lucky. Someone in my alliance got the triple seven yesterday. Oh, oh, I got three jellyfish. I got five of those. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, these are good. These are use these for upgrades. That's that's pog. That's good. Okay. Hey, I got some good RNG. All right, that's not a great. Oh, okay. Makes a change to get some good. Oh, oh, free turtle shells. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Okay, these are rare. These are not easy to get, these things. I don't know what ones to I don't know what one to pick up, to be honest with you. I have no idea what one to even think about picking up here. Advanced star promotion selection pack. Never had that before. That's obviously some kind of like really like high-end item, I think. I, I don't know. That's kind of cool though. Couple of good drops. I think I'm gonna need it for upgrades later. Oh, seven seven and a shell. Bruh. So unlucky. So unlucky. Don't waste your luck in this game. Oh, what? So I don't get no luck over on Lords. <laughs> it's all good. And stop. Now we've got nothing on the last one. An eight hour speed up. All right, cool. Yo, I actually got some pretty good drops there. That was kind of nice. Those, uh, what's the drop rate on those? I mean, like 7% to get those. I actually got 10 five star middles off this event and I got five of those and five of these. But I don't know what one to click on on that. So I don't really want to open it yet because I don't know what ones I need. I can open this and we'll get the gems. And this I am going to oh, get a hundred of them. Oh my God. I am going to grab. Oh, these are just the things you used to level up. Okay, these aren't that exciting. I'm just going to grab the, uh, grab, I don't know, I mean, sell nutrients, I guess. This one is the one you use for upgrading. I'm going to grab blah, 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 enhanced tissues this time. And I've got these as well. Troop defense, troop, oh, troop defense, there you go. And then I've got these, five of these. Use it to receive designated advanced promotion materials. Yeah, I don't know what one to do. The tit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that yet. That, that, that is a really rare item. I don't want to open that up until I know exactly what one I'm looking for. I have no idea. But I know I'm going to need it later. I got a four star hero thing. I'm going to grab. I got to start working on another. I'm going to start working on this uh, black saddle fish. Let's get that black saddle thing. Okay. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Save it until I figure it out. Yeah, I'm not going to use it yet. I know that's a good item. And I thought it's definitely a rare item. 
I don't know what it's used for yet, though. Ooh, I can upgrade this. March capacity, troop total, crap HP. Crap HP. Yeah. Total troop HP. I'm not worried about total troop HP. Oh, that's fine. What's the function of the ocean healing coral? Uh, it will win a truce automatically after the event. Increases healing coral capacity. Anyway, that way. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I got it wrong. You still get some rewards, though. Okay, that's all right then. Oops. My bad. I got it wrong. I don't know. Uh, this is for enhancement. Okay, so five. Wait. Six, 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 five, five, five. Let's take this one up to six. There we go. Yo, I just hit 19 million might. Let's go. Not bad. Nice. We're actually pretty good. The actor for Solo Living TV show spat out blood while recording. Ugh. You aren't graduating fish school, Prince. I know. All right. I think that's it. I got my gathering out. Everything's good. All my clicks are done. I didn't guess. You know what? I still didn't get. <laughs> I still didn't get this bloody crocodile. I got two of these this morning. Look, I got a bloody penguin. And a, and a link stupid Arctic seal this morning. I still haven't been able to be lucky enough to get the, uh, the one I'm looking for. Well, let me go ahead and promote that and to, uh, that. Oh, I haven't got enough. I, I need to save up more fish. Okay, never mind. Eventually, I'm going to get it. Eventually, I'm going to get it. But it's okay because I can use these to promote the dolphin. But still. I got a lot of level ones. Yeah, I know. Well, I've only got one sea beast I'm working on, which is the dolphin. But I need to build up some. I need to level these things up. These, these, these anemone, these, these things. I need to do this. I, 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 one thing at a time there's loads, there's loads of things i've got to upgrade one thing at a time anyway that is how things are looking over on world of water i don't think there's any events for us to do today this one's just an ongoing thing the ocean treasures which i'm working on i've got one more one more prize to open up two of these little fish fragments so that's that uh cell growth is just basically prizes you get for doing the cell growth which i've got one left to try and get uh, special creature. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, this thing. Oh, okay, I gotta do this quickly. Hold on. Uh, that one, that one. That one, that one, I guess. And that one. Right, let me just quickly do this. Take like five minutes. It won't take long. You can promote your sea beast. You got a little level one. No, no, I can promote them. It's just I ain't got enough fish to do it. You need the fish. I ain't got the gems to go and gem a bunch. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, mods. Hi, Mike. Hello. Somebody asked me earlier on how many eggs I'd had today. I saw it in the chat. The answer to that question is none so far. Unless they were talking about the eggs in this game. I don't know. But I haven't eaten no eggs today yet. I'm gonna though. I'm gonna have um I'm gonna have some when I finish this stream today, before I do before I do DA, I'm gonna cook myself up a pound of ground beef with three eggs and four chicken wings on the side. Save your eggs in this game. There's an event coming up, I think. I already used like nine gold ones this morning. None because mine is Mike is abstaining from cannibalism. <laughs> eggs eating eggs, right? Always remember to freeze your eggs. Freeze my eggs. Oh hell no, bro. Mm. Freeze eggs. Why is why is Alpha sick? Alpha, are you, are you do you not like meat? Oh god. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Alpha, you must like meat. Tell me you like meat, bro. Come on now. 
you can't be, you can't say you're not on me, you're surely not. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Each to their own. I always find it funny when I'm walking around the supermarket and I'm doing my shopping. It's really funny because like I go, I go, so I go grocery shopping with my mom on a Friday. You know, it's the one day of the week I see my mom, catch up, have a chat and everything, you know. Sometimes we go for a coffee. We didn't today. And it's really funny walking around with her doing the shopping. I walk around and I just look up. I, I, I'm terrible. I, 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 well, the funny thing is, right, you walk into the supermarket and like the meat area is right at the front of the supermarket. So you go in and boom, there's all the meat area. Yeah. So I go and do all my, put all, I put all my meat in the trolley. Or the shopping cart, as some of you guys call it. And the only th the only other thing I need to put in my trolley in the entire supermarket is the water and the eggs, which are down the other end. So literally, I go into the first aisle, fill my fill my cart up with with me, and then I'm literally just walking around the whole supermarket, just chatting because there's nothing else I need to put in there <laughs> until I get to the eggs at the other end of the store. It's kind of hilarious. And another thing I'm really bad for is I always look at people's shopping carts and see what they got inside them. I'm terrible for it. But I'll sit there and I'll just, I'll be standing there and then someone will walk past me and I'll just look in their shopping cart and I'll just see what's in it. And I'll just look and I'll be like, whoa. I see all this high processed crap they've got in their trolley. It's like, oh dear. And like, you want to turn around and say to them, hey, what you're eating is actually poisoning you. Don't eat that. But you obviously can't do that. You know what I mean? Like you gotta let people find, discover stuff for themselves, and you can't you can't tell people. You just can't do it. it. Life doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I wish I could. I wish I could just go up to some of these people that I see putting really unhealthy crap in their trolley and just get shake them and go, "Stop eating that. It's making you sick." Like eat whole foods. Don't eat that processed shit. But they don't. But you know, you just can't do that. You just have to let people get on with it and make their own choices. You know. Eating cereals? Hell no, bro. Them colourful boxes full of full of shit. No, 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 no. You like to walk around the countryside? It's window shopping, pretty much. What the best pack to get Astrolite in Lords? I don't know, man. Astrolite's expensive, whatever you buy. I like getting. I like, I'm I'm terrible for it though. I like to. I like to I like to go gamble with the Astralite. I just like to get the Astralite, brilliant Astralite chest and just try and get lucky. That's how I get my get my Astralite. Because I always gamble it away anyway, just because, like, whatever. I do it for funsies. I think it creates more entertainment value to gamble my Astralite and get a, get a good drop rather than just spending loads of money to try and max it out. That's boring. I like to just use the gamble. <laughs> My boy be on that chism, chismy. What's a chismy? Chicken, beef, and seafood. Chicken's all right. Yeah, beef's all right. Seafood's good. Mm. I don't eat all seafood. Like I don't eat the big fish, like cod and haddock and all that stuff. Like, the only, the, the, the only big, the biggest fish I eat is salmon. Salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel. Like the little oily fish are the ones I like. The salmon is amazing, man. I love salmon. Oh my god. Someone's so good. Yeah, the gambles are fun, isn't it? I like the gam. I like the gam. I like, I like the. I like the gambles. Mackerel fried in butter is absolutely delicious. We have this thing over in the UK. I don't know if you have it in America. It's we, we call them kippers. It's basically smoked mackerel that we cook in butter, and they are they are so good, man. Oh my god. Ah, don't worry about it. It's okay. How do we do? Do we get the, do we get the rewards? Yeah. There you go. I didn't get the diamonds, but whatever. It's fine. Rankings. Um, I'm not going to be top 50. I know that much. 180. Ugh. If I've done, done it manually, it would be better, but I can't be bothered. Uh, it's okay. Uh, all right. Special creature. Uh, that's done. Oh, right. Challenge. Wait. Challenge charges. 101. What? Oh, I've got another go. Never mind. I thought I was done. Chisme basically means gossip. It's a Spanish word. Oh, okay. My boy Prince be on that gossip. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All the astro on my gear has been done 2% gambles and it's surprising after it works. Yeah, I know, right? Like a lot of times it don't work, but when it does, it feels good. 
And I think I think overall, overall, I think I'm up on I'm up rather than being down on it. I'm shifting to the UK in a few months. Oh, nice triple. Cool, man. Well, how's that doing? I got another score there. So rankings, I'm still ranked 180. That's awesome. Didn't it? Didn't that like help at all? Fur wins first. GG's, bro. I got a shit score. You guys smashed it. All right. Wow. Yeah, I got a terrible score. 9,000 was my best. Oh, it's your best try only. Okay. Well, I guess you just need RNG a little bit. I mean, not, not just RNG. Good hero. Better heroes as well, but. I think a lot of it's RNG. Um, okay. All right, I think I'm done. Hang on, people buying shit. You guys go crazy, man. <laughs> you guys going cray cray. Okay, so I got some diamonds. Use that. Use that. All right, we're good. We are Gucci. How long till my gathering's done? I get two more rolls of that. Oh, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm not doing that now. All right, let's go jump on Lords. Let's go jump on Lords and do the do, do my clicks. So I'm going to try and switch this over really effortlessly. Watch this. I've got it all set up now. So what I'll do is I just press this. All right. Chat has to disappear. And then I just press this button. And it's pretty much, apart from the fact the screen's a bit off, I need to sort the screen out. But other than that. I can just get it over like that. It's pretty quick, isn't it? It doesn't take too long to do it. Just, just a quick switch like that. Boom, we're on Lords. I got it down to art now. So we've done our World of Water clicks. The first hour of the stream has been completed. We've completed our World of Water clicks. And now I've got to do my, my Lord's Mobile clicks. And my Rally Trap is already got some done. Yeah, yeah. So Guild Expedition. This, we can talk about that first if you, if you like. Um... So Guild Expedition, I saw this in the news, the news this morning. Um, IGG posted this today saying Guild Expedition trial event duration adjustment. Um, so they've apparently they're listening to us. Um, making the following adjustments to the event duration in order to enhance our gaming experience. Okay. What they've done is they've basically reduced it down to two days. This is good. This is definitely one of the points. It wasn't the major point that needs changing. It was more of a like point three on the list that needed to be changed. But yeah, they've reduced it from like four or five day event where it was, which was just stupid. They've reduced it down to two days. So that's actually better. That's a lot better. I'm very happy that they've actually listened on that and reduced it down so that we can, we can cross off point number three. But that's all they have changed in Guild Expedition. We still have point one and point two, which are really the main glaring issues with Guild Expedition. Unfortunately, they have not been addressed. Um, and again, as we're on the subject, I will just repeat what point number one and point number two are. Point number one is the healing in this event. Healing in this event needs to be like Dragon Arena. You can't be 50% reduction or all this, this malarkey. It has to be like Dragon Arena. There, you can't, it, there can't be no resource consumption inside this event. No. They need to completely remove resource consumption in this event. Until that's done, this event is still unplayable. And that's the truth. You may have reduced the time to two days. 
but the event is still unplayable due to the amount of resources that are required to go in and fight war guilds inside this event even if it's over just two days it's too much the prizes are not good enough to warrant that much resource consumption the because let's face it you can't say the army hero makes it worth it because dragon arena also has an army hero and army jewels so there's no reason or well, not army jewels but you know dragon jewels there's no reason why we should have to use lunite and resources inside this event it's just dumb so again point one in bold capital letters font 55 font 155 whatever like the main number one glaring issue with guild expedition currently and still even though igg has had the feedback continuously that they need to change it they still refuse to change it fully it, the event is still unplayable unplayable we still won't be participating even if it's just over two days because unfortunately we don't we don't want to use all of our resources in rss it's a rip still because of the fact that you still have to burn up all your lunite and resources in there so because of that reason the the event guild expedition is unfortunately still unplayable in lords mobile moving on to point number two point number two is the point system inside this event is broken the whole setup of the event is completely broken and the reason i say that is because it doesn't matter what forts you're holding throughout the entire event what matters is what you're holding at the end so even if we were to take part in this event we wouldn't take part until the last four hours we wouldn't bother even participating in the fighting in the first 24 hours we wouldn't even bother participating in the following well the first 36 hours we would wait until the last four hours and then we would push and take out everything we need to take out and get the middle base. That's how we would basically do it. So there is no purpose to even losing any troops or doing any healing or doing any relocating or any speed booting. There's no point using any consumables in this event up until the last four hours. Then go and get the forts you need to hold what you need to do to get the good to win the event or rank whatever you need to rank. So the whole way they have the point system locked that's up in this event right now, where it just matters at the end, is completely broken. It needs to be changed. And the way I believe it should be changed is all of the forts around the actual map should just give you boosts. No points. And the points should be generated off the middle fort. After 12 hours, the middle fort should open. And whoever holds, or after 24 hours, the middle fort should open. And whoever holds that middle fort because if, if the middle fort if it's a two-day event and the mid the, the base in the middle opens after 24 hours you're gonna push forward before then to get good position ready for it so it's worth playing and pushing forward on your on your advancement to get to the middle base area and then after 24 hours it opens up and then during that next 24 hour period whoever whatever guild holds that base for the longest amount of occupation time should claim that base as claim that big thing at the end as their own and get the big points and and well no, not points but just win whoever gets the biggest occupation time on that in the middle wins so there is going to be reason to play for the whole event at this point now because you're going to want to push for territory for good position on the main base in the middle and you're going to want to push for other faults and get other boosts so you're going to want to play it all the way through however and i just want to reiterate this one last thing point two with the point system the change of that would only work if point one was put into effect that there's no healing in there it's like da just speed ups to heal because even if they put that new system in place with occupation time and just boost on the other forts i still wouldn't participate in that event until they change the healing like da so unfortunately you know they've not listened to the main criticism of this event they've just changed the time duration we still have a major glaring issue with this event two major glaring issues with this event well the the main one is the healing still the second one the point system i still think the event's broken because the way it's set up right now but changing point one would still allow people to actually play the event at least there is that point two i guess would be optional i think point two definitely makes the event better and more fun to play and more interesting and would definitely promote more people to be more active to actually be involved in the event so i think point two is definitely a win for this guild expedition but point one is the massive massive issue on this event right now 
we will just turn up at the event in TWK and many of the other guilds out there will do the same thing as we do. We will go there. We will farm ag resources by gathering and hitting monsters. We will complete our solos and then we will pull back out of the guild expedition back to the home kingdom. We won't even bother participating. Just won't bother. It's not worth it. The, the rewards are not worth it. So let's use all that resource. You don't get kills. It's not worth the resources. There's lots of reasons why we wouldn't even bother. So yeah, that's basically the, the, the feedback I'm giving in response to the feedback that IGG have put in the news today. Unfortunately, it's still unplayable. Um, we still have two big things. One major thing that needs changing and one optional thing. But yeah, there, there's definitely some changes that needs to be made. Always entered. Hello, bro. Welcome to the stream. Says in the chat. In and out like in like 10 minutes. Yeah, right. Or just make the kills count. Yeah, I mean, I feel like just making the kills count would be a real lazy way to keep making people spend money in that event. I'll be honest with you, George. Even if I was going to get kills in that event, I still wouldn't participate. I don't care about kill number. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about it. And I still don't believe the amount of resource that you would burn through in there, even if it's 50% discount like it is right now, uh, would actually warrant the amount of rewards. Because let's face it, right? Last, just to give you an example, chat. Last Guild Expedition event, I bought the Silver Passes, which is like, I don't know, it's like 15 bucks. So IGG is happy because they made some money off me. But the bottom line is, I spent 15 bucks on the two Silver Passes. I pulled it into Guild Expedition. I managed to gather and monster hunt to get all my solos done, including my Silver and my Bronze, okay? And I was able to claim 17 medals from that event. We ranked six because we didn't push out and get any faults. We didn't participate, right? But regardless of that coming in sixth place, I managed to get 17 medals for my hero. I was only missing three medals. Three. So if you, because I can only claim 20, right? If you think all that resource and our Lunite, Lunite is worth losing for the sake of three medals, I mean, that's insane. That's actually insane. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's correct at all. I think that's actually it's such a bad take to think that all that Lunite and resource is worth getting an extra three medals. It absolutely is not, in my opinion. So, yeah, I mean, I was quite happy to get my 17 medals and pull out. Thank you very much. Done. Like, it's just that, 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 and that's just the way it is, man. A lot of people don't even buy the pass. You're right. I bought the pass just so I can try and speed up the process a little bit. But yeah, a lot of people don't even buy the pass. They just go in, get their bronze done, get their ranking, get as many medals as they can. You still get like 10 medals or something. And then get out of there and slow roll it. Absolutely. Like there's just no reason right now to use any resources in there at all. Because let's face it, the other prizes in Guild Expedition are absolute trash. The artifact that's in there is actually awful like beyond awful it's an awful artifact and then like it definitely ain't worth your time and effort or money to, to to get it so the artifact's awful and the rest of the stuff in there is very lackluster the only thing you should be getting in there is the hero medals i mean someone came in the stream the other day and said oh but i'm getting tomes in there it's like well you mean you shouldn't be <laughs> you should be getting the hero medals because that's going to be an army passive you're going to be wanting on your account right sooner rather than later so but yeah, no, it's just it's just a massive L. Like the gold pass is not worth it at all. It's expensive and it's not worth it at all. It just it's just not worth it. Like what you're going to use, you can only get 20 medals anyway. So you're going to have excess pioneer stones or pioneer rocks after buying the gold pass. And what are you going to do with those? Buy buy artifact medals? I mean, the artifact sucks. Why would you want that? Doesn't make any sense. So yeah, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Uh, passive army stats, unless you're desperate for army stats, which nobody is, to be fair. Yeah, they're passive army stats, which are really important. Uh, you don't need to do anything with that. They just go onto your account. I mean, for little traps and stuff, they need some extra stats. That's a really good way to get some real solid army stats, which are, which are really good. Army stats are awesome. If the kills if the kills are not, do you enjoy the fort battles? I view RSS as price to have fun. I mean... The problem is that the tasty, I get what you're saying. The problem is I just don't feel like the the reward benefit outweighs the, the RSS cost. And I'm comparing what's already in Lords Mobile. For example, we have Dragon Arena, which costs no RSS to play. We're going to be streaming it tonight. No RSS to play, no Lunite. And the rewards which you get for doing Dragon Arena are 
a Medulfs for a, again, another army passive hero, the same as what's in Expedition, and Dragon Jewels, which help boost your Spear Marches. Really good prizes on both sides, the Jewels and the hero in Dragon Arena. So if we can play Dragon Arena and not spend RSS and get two solid prizes in there, why do we have to use RSS in this event to get the same thing? And, and, and to be fair, in, in, in Guild Expedition, the only thing is the hero. There, there's no jewels in there. There's nothing else of any interest. It's just the hero. So why do we need to now spend RSS on, a, on an event that is actually longer than Dragon Arena? Dragon Arena is easy to get things organized for because it's just an hour of your time. You go in, you play for an hour, you get out, you're done. But this event warrants more of my time. My time is important. Your time is important, chat. Everybody's time is valuable, yeah? But they want exponentially more of our time, which is a lot more as well because it's a 48-hour event. So they want 48 times the amount of your time to play this event. And in return, you've got to pay RSS and get the same rewards. Like, what? That makes no sense. Like, how can you ask for 48, like 48 percent more, or 48 times? Sorry, 48 times more of my time, and give me the same rewards, and also make me spend RSS. So I've got it's going to cost me money too. Like what? That doesn't make any sense. Like it's just dumb. I, I'm sorry, but it's just dumb. Like I, I don't get it. Now, what could IGG do, done to resolve this problem? Well. One of the things they could have done to resolve this problem is they could have, considering they've asked for 48 times more of my time. In fact, the original event was five days. They wanted like a shit ton more of your time, but they've reduced it down to two days. So we'll go with what they've reduced it down to. If IGG want 48 times more of my time, then I want a higher rank reward inside there compared to the Dragon Arena. So for example, this passive hero, that's the same as Boommeister, the same as, dare I say her name, Oracle, right? Which is one of the biggest scams this game's got right now is Oracle. Holy shit. If you did buy Oracle for five and a half grand. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, yeah, like seriously, like, you know, I would expect a better hero. Absolutely, I would expect a better hero. Like, it should have, like, 25% army attack on it or something. Like, it should just be a better thing. And there should be something in there of more value than what is currently in there. I'd said this during the beta when it was... Well, not the beta. When it was being tested on the Taiwan server. I said it if, when it was on the Taiwan server. I said it before it came out on the main server. I said it when it came out on the main server. And I've been saying it for weeks now since the event has been around on the main server. That... And I'll say it again today the rewards inside that event are shocking for the amount of time effort money it would cost to actually participate in the event the rewards are shockingly bad and i said back then when i made that initial video they need to change this store they need to up the ante in this store because there's no one's gonna bother playing this event i'm telling you man no one's gonna play it no one has played it why do you think they keep changing stuff? They can see the analytics from there and they know no one's playing it. Apart from PCS. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, but yeah, no, it's like, you know, there's only like a few handful of people that are actually fighting and playing properly in there. There's not many people that will actually play in that event. And they know that. They can see it from their own side of analytics. So they're, they're, they're changing stuff continuously to try and do it. And the only benefit we have here is the fact it's still classed as a trial. If you go look at this, they're still classing it as a trial. This is the only thing. This is the only silver lining to the cloud. It's still classed as Guild Expedition Trial. They haven't fully kind of like. And, and, and I, I hope that this is not it. You know what I mean? If this is all they're planning, if this now, if this is the end of the trial, because it says thank you for all your support and feedback on the Guild Expedition Trial. Like, if the next one is not a trial anymore, if it's now Guild Expedition and they're keeping the event as it is, they're not going to bother changing it to how it needs to be changed, then it's just a massive L for IGG. It's a huge L. And like new players that come into the game ain't going to know no better, man. They're going to come in. Oh, I got to buy a Luna. I got to buy resources. Let's just do it, you know. But like, it's a massive L for the game. Like they got an opportunity. They had an opportunity 
to put in content in this game, which the game needs, man. And the game needed some solid content like this. But like the way that the way they've implemented it is just a massive L. Sometimes I feel like IGG don't play their own game, except for the people that play the sponsored accounts from IGG. Obviously, those those people play the game, but they don't really play play the game. They play on a game that's gifted all all the stuff for free, and they can actually run around on a maxed account. I mean, that's not generally playing the game. Like play the game from the normal person's perspective. I, mean, I don't think there's anybody over there that really understands how that works, and so it is what it is, man. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. I'm not going to keep talking about it, but I just think it's a massive L. They they they, they need to they need to adjust this event. It's a it it's just it's just a huge L. To come back after that after the last few weeks and all they've changed is the duration. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of shocking that they've only come back and changed the duration. I, I saw it and I was just like, there's no way, man. There's no way that all they've changed is the duration. Like surely they've gonna they're surely they've changed something else. They haven't just changed the duration, surely not. But nah, just the duration, that's it. Like absolutely mind blown. But they did they did they did they haven't changed that. I'm I'm mind blown that even now they still haven't fixed the healing to the same as DA. You know, I I, I can't, I just I, I I'm mind blown they haven't changed that. It's just crazy. It's crazy, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, exactly, Smoking Guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a smoking Guns says, lol, IGG, give me a sponsored account with unlimited carps, boots, troops, and gear, and I'll play again. <laughs> right? They have almost killed the game. The stats are too high as well. I mean, they, they, they've had, they've had, man, I always talk about stats. Like stats are just the most laziest update for a game like this you can ever do. Like if they come up with an update, right? And it's just some mechanic that gives you more stats. It's just money. That's all it is. They want more money off you. That's literally what it is. It's sugarcoated as we just want to get more money off our players because the stat increase is something that's never needed. I've already explained the, the logic behind it. I'm sure you guys understand it. I said it, I said it the other day. Yeah, you know, I said I said it the other day, right? Basically, I, again, look, the, the prime example, the prime example is this. You got two Titans. I, hi Bear, good morning. You got two Titans, right? Both of them have set I'm gonna give you purchase this very basic example. I got you got two Titans, right? Both of them have 1000 percent attack. They're having a fight and a wonder and they're loving the game. Oh, this is great. You beat me. I beat you. I defend against you. You defend against me. This is awesome. Boom, 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 boom. They're having a fight. They've got a thousand percent attack each. The developer of this game says, hi, we're bringing out a new update. It's going to give you an extra 200 percent attack, but it's going to cost you ten thousand dollars. OK, no worries. We're Titans. This person spends ten thousand dollars and gets the 200 percent attack. This person spends ten thousand dollars and gets 200 percent attack. And then they go back and start fighting and they're playing the exact same gameplay as they had before the update because both of them have the same stats because they both got the 200%. The, the only thing that's changed, the fighting is the same, the action's the same. The only difference, the only thing that's happened between before the update and after the update is the game companies made $20,000. These two players are now out of pocket $10,000 each. And they're playing the same game as they were before, which is why an update with stat increase is just greed and pointless and something that is never needed in the game. It's just to try and milk more players because basically they put you in a position where you have to spend more money because you've put this. If you've got Titan A that's already spent a lot of thousand attack. Titan B that's already spent a lot, a, a thousand attack, and then a ten thousand dollar update comes out that gives you a, an extra two hundred percent. If Titan B goes and buys it and gets that twelve hundred percent, Titan A will feel that they have to go and buy that because they can't compete now with Titan B, because Titan B has gone <laughs> with their credit card, right? And they've spent two hundred, they've spent ten grand, and now they're stronger than them, so they will now win most likely against them. So they have to go and e balance it out by then buying it as well, right? And this is the this is the games that IGG play with a lot of these maxed accounts because there's a lot of maxed accounts in Lords Mobile that are legit. There are people that have actually spent the money to build those accounts up. The problem is there's also maxed accounts in Lords Mobile that are not legit, 
that are illegit illegitimate Max accounts, which are owned by IGG, which are sponsored Max accounts. And the problem is, when IGG do release a new update that comes out that gives you more stats, of course, those, Ma those sponsored accounts that IGG fund, basically, or not fund, but just build, those accounts will get the update immediately, which means any of the maxed accounts out there that want to compete with these guys still have to go and buy it. So it basically, because it doesn't cost IGG nothing to put on their accounts, it's just pixels. You know what I mean? It's nothing. They can just put what they want on. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. <laughs> they can just do what they want. It doesn't cost them anything to do it, you know? So that's how that, and that's how they push people to go and spend, like the big boys. That's how they get them to go and spend all this money on stuff. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, and, and and like they don't like the fact that they obviously don't like the fact that they can only really do that with maxed accounts. So now they're doing it to slightly lower spend players. And how are they doing that? They're doing that with things like this, with Tycoon. They're doing that with things like the Artifact Challenge, the Labyrinth Challenge, these kind of things. All these different challenge events they're coming up with, they can dictate the leaderboards. They can manipulate them. Now, again, there's no evidence of that. That's my own conspiracy theory on that, especially that, that side of it anyway. Not the accounts. I know 100% that Lords Mobile has sponsored accounts in the game that they actually put all the stuff on to try and push up people to make them spend more. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's a fact, right? But as far as the leaderboards go, it's a conspiracy theory. But, as, you know, the, the, the artifact leaderboards look hella sus. Hella sus. Every single artifact challenge, there's always some dodgy shit account at the top. 10 rankings, there's a bunch of them. They've all got five, six, seven, eight hundred openings. In fact, Mr. Garcia sent a message the other day to me saying that his first place ranked person in Artifact Challenge with over 1,200 openings was a guy that had a million kills and blue gear. You know what I mean? Like, it's, they do it all the time. I feel like those get manipulated all the time. So, yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. It's it's definitely interesting, but I mean, you know, it's it's also frustrating. So yeah, uh, take a look at Defro's comment. He tried telling you yesterday, I missed it. What did you say, bro? Uh, Prince, buddy, hit lab the other day. Would like to hook the channel up with gems when you want, how you want. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream for Dragon Arena tonight. Yeah. How many gems? <laughs> Because I think one guy in TWK wants to do one. I don't know if he's... I think he does. Uh, I am just haven't done it yet. How many gems uh, did you win, bro? And how many did you want to give away to the channel? And yeah, we can definitely work something out, bro. For sure. It also makes the valley between endless spenders and endless and heavy spenders even greater. True. In the, event, in the end, they make fewer people competitive in Baron and Emperor. True. Means less people would participate. Big true. Holy crap, two mil? How many did you win? Wait, you want to give two million gems away to the channel? No way, dude. No way, dude. Two million gems? That's insane. Did you, dang on, did you win two mil or you want to give away two mil? Like, which, which way around is it? <laughs> I think you won two mil, right? If you won two mil, dude, I don't want you to give away your gems. Like, you need to hold on to those. Like, two mil gems doesn't last forever. You're better off holding on to them, bro. If you won like 30 mil, I'll be like, oh, okay. All right, I'll take two mil. <laughs> but like, oh, wait, hang on a minute. Yeah, no problem, bro. I hit 21 million. Oh, shit. Dude. <laughs> okay, so you hit 21 mil on the lab. So you want to give away two mil to the channel. Yo, dude, that's really nice of you. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, we definitely will do that then. Um, I've also got a mil from Fats in TWK. I'm pretty sure he won like 35 million the other day. And I think he wants to give away some. Where is it? I'll show you his profile. Where's Fats? Yo, Bear, where's Fats? Is he in another guild or something? Where is he? Do you know where he is? Did I, did I just go past it because I'm blind? Or has he changed his name or. Do you know where he is? I didn't think he was this 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 big in my. Where are we? oh there he is. Yeah, Fats won uh won 35 million the other day. Or something like that. 30 mil or 35 mil. He wanted to give um he wanted to give a million gems away to the channel. So yo, if Death Row is gonna be doing two mil and Fats is gonna be doing a mil. 
then we'll we'll have a we'll ba basically guys we'll have a three million gem giveaway on the channel that'd be pretty big three million gems damn yeah that'd be insane all right cool yeah yeah we can definitely we can definitely do that uh what's your account fats oh sorry death row what's your account in uh, in the game so i can bring your profile up dude is it just death row like it is in youtube like death row x is he 2.2 bill oh that's all right then so oh, okay so cool all right sweet so you won't have an issue gifting people because you're over two bills and for the most part you should be you should be fine um yeah nice nice all right cool so death row and fats giving out a bunch of gems that's pretty cool best way to <laughs> is pain lords mobile yeah right um okay cool well i mean this is cool then nice bro we'll do this we'll set this up we'll set up a three million gem giveaway i don't know how we go about doing it but i think i think we'll do it live we'll do it for the people that turn up for a live stream and uh yeah i think we'll, we'll, we'll yeah we'll, we'll work it out maybe do a spin wheel or something maybe i'll just get like a google sheet up and just let everyone put their name in it and i'll do a spin wheel or something or maybe i can try and get a you know what actually i can get a widget from Streamlabs, where basically everybody in the stream is here and then basically i say right everybody press this in the stream like a certain number you press it in the stream once and then basically it, it takes all of you and puts you in a spin wheel and randomizes it on the stream i think i can get a randomizer for this a stream it's called a stream chat randomizer i think i can i think i can get one and then what we'll do is we'll basically boot up a live stream we'll have three million gems in the pot and uh yeah basically we'll just spin the wheel we'll do a hundred thousand gems each prize a hundred thousand gems a prize we'll get 30 winners i'll get um death row and fats to go into a guild open guild or something and or a guild and then you guys can just basically apply and go in there and get your prizes not an open guild because there will be loads of people that will try and cheat and try and scam and but that's the problem when you do some kind of giveaway like this there's always going to be gammas scammers and cheaters changing their name trying to get in and get prizes and stuff so We'll have to obviously work through that because that happens every time. I don't know some people don't have no lives; they're just weird. Um, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a chat. We'll do a chat uh, randomized rotation thing. I think that probably is the best way to do it. Um, and we've also got a uh, we, and we we could possibly we could possibly like go all in on this giveaway. We could do the three million gem giveaway, give away thirty prizes of a hundred thousand gems. And then we could uh, also like do one final spin and give away the tier five account that me and Bear, well, I'm, me and Bear have got, Bear's been working on it, but I can show you it actually, guys. I think I can show you it. I think it's in the guild right now. Bear, if you're online, can you do me a favor? Can you, um, can you, can you put, where is it? Oh, he might've taken it out. Hold on a minute. Bear, where is it? Is it in Gab? You know the one I'm looking for. I can't remember the name of it. Is it in Gab? Where'd you put it? Did you put it in? Did you put it back over here? Can you, are you near your computer, mate? Can you put the gear on for me? There it is. Yeah, yeah I found it. Can you put the gear on for me before I bring it up? If possible. I don't know if you're near your computer or not. If you are, could you could you put the gear on? I want to show people what's up for grabs. It's kind of kind of pog. <laughs> Just saw a funny message. Um. Yeah, no worries, bro. What is this? Oh, uh, not worried about that. Um. I'm just waiting for him to let me know as to get the gears. I think the gears on the gear will be they'll be on. Give him a minute. I left the game, but if I get the account, I might come back. So this account here, this is the one we're going to be giving away. It's called we we renamed it to Coochie Bear. Um. Right, the gear. <laughs> that's the that's not the gear. <laughs> so this is the account we're going to be giving away. It's got 455 million kills, 883 million might. 
Uh, it's got 439 levels on the artifacts and 154 stars. So that's been worked on, but obviously no blessed yet. Still a member of the pot club. Eight castle stars. It's got a gold law weaver, which is really, really nice. Yeah. But what's also really nice about this account is the gear. The gear is uh, is really, really nice. He's, he's sorting out for me. Once he gets the gear on, I'll show you. Just give me a second. Um, yeah, it's, it's a member of the pot club. No, that's not the gear. No, that's not the gear, bro. Daryl, that's not the gear, dude. That's not the gear. Um, this is, this is, this is just, this is like, this is the gear you would wear if you just want to chill and relax, you know? You just put this gear on, yeah, whatever. No one's going to rally me because I'm in gear, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, so that, that, that's the, that's the gear, but no, 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 that's not the real gear. Um, that's the real gear. I'm just going to take my camera off so you guys can actually see the full set. That is the real gear that's being given. This, this is what's being given away. It's a banger, man. I'm telling you, it's a b -b 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 banger. It's really good. Look at this. This is the giveaway account. This is what someone's going to win. An 883 mil might castle with almost four mythic gear and a gold law weaver. And it's got tier five. It's a tier five account. It's got tier five on it. It's got a decent amount of tier four on it as well. It just needs a decent boost of tier two. But this right here is... This right here is what someone's going to win. Is it zero? No, no, no. It's full of tier four. It's got a buttload of tier four. It's got tier five in it as well. And it's got a lot. And it just needs a boost on tier two. It needs a bit more tier two. But it's got a solid amount of high tier troops. Yeah, yeah. That, that account is ready to rock. And like, it's solid, man. You've got decent gear, decent might, low might. Really nice account. Stat wise, stat wise, just looking at the stats. It's got a couple of hundred turfs lost almost. It's got like 180 million troops lost on the actual troop loss thing. So that does show up. Obviously, it must have been hit before in the past. It's got 35 bill might destroy, which isn't a massive amount for that many kills. It's got a few caps and stuff on it. It's got billions of resources that have been sent and <laughs> uh, nearly 200,000 helps. Like it's, it's an old soul account, but I mean, yo, the gear is insane, man. You have some fun in this account. You get this. Oh, is this the inf set? There's the infantry. Look at that. That's going to be the infantry. That's that's your infantry set right there. Two gold cups and a mythic cup on the infantry. Very nice. Uh, yo, is there any other sets on it we want to show off, Bear? That's the range. Look at the range. It's got a mythic, mythic, uh, mythic worm rod. It's got mythic codex. Mythic Talons. And then obviously you got the free cops again. So that's your range that's your range set right there. That's a solid range set right there. Um and then the Cav. We've got the Cav set. And there's your Cav. Look at that. Three Mythic Drums at level four Astra. Mythic Dragonfish. You've got a Mythic Cudgel, a gold bumble helm, Mythic Gargantua belt at level two, and a Mythic Firewall. I got my third gold cup yesterday. Feels good. Nice, Nathan. Congrats, bro. So, yeah, really, really, really solid cav set as well. So, you've got three solid spear sets on it. Um, and you've got a really solid mix set on it. Um, Cheval says, I donated that account to WP. Did you? Was that your account? I don't know. If, I can't remember. It's been so long ago. I don't know if that was or not. I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's been ages since this where you got this one. When we got given this account, it was a T4 account. Oh, the Bumble Helm's ready to go to Mythic. It just needs Embers. It just needs Embers. Oh, okay, wow. So when, when we got this account, when this was given to us, uh, it was a T4 account. And we've basically been working on it for quite a few months to get it up to Tier 5. So we got it up to Tier 5 now. And now it's ready to be uh, dispatched and given given away so yeah and i'm really looking forward to giving this one away to you guys what time will the raffle be at i don't know man we're going to be doing a big giveaway we've got three million gems that we're going to be giving away let me get my camera back up we've got three million gems that we're going to be giving away and we're going to be giving away this tier five account so yeah it's going to be an insane giveaway i haven't done a giveaway for ages like i try not to do too many of them because 
it generally speaking can can not always a lot of good people have come onto the channel from the giveaways but it can also attract some of the wrong people as well um but you know i do like to give back to the community and whatnot and this is a real good opportunity for someone to win no not three billion gems three million gems so yeah legit yeah definitely it's legit insane awesome like it's gonna be awesome so i will announce uh, yeah i will let you guys know when the stream will be we're gonna be giving it away live on stream i'm not gonna be doing no giveaway where people can cheat and put loads of bloody gmails in, in a comment section you know because that shit always happens man people always try and cheat and scam their way to a prize so we're gonna do it live on stream and i'm gonna get it all set up so we can do that it's gonna be awesome man can't wait so yeah big big giveaway coming up by the looks of it then big big amount of gems and a really really good um a really good what's it called a really really good account mm, tier five account very nice okay let's get my dailies done because i want to get this done let's go um let's do this it's uh, keep it real peeps no cheaters allowed i mean it doesn't matter whether i say no cheaters they always turn up you know it's what it is i try and i do go through the comment section but like normally there's like so many comments it's very difficult to go through all of them and like and like ban ban the people that are putting multiple entries but there's always it's not even that that some people have got multiple gmails so what they do is they basically they basically comment with different gmails under different names just to just to get multiple entries do you know what i mean so it's very very difficult to stop the cheaters and trust me some people make hundreds of gmail accounts like just just to get loads of entries so like if people do that like people are just like some people unfortunately some people when they're kids are either dropped on their head or their their parents have thrown a remote control with their head or something and it's hit them on the head or something like there's some people are just like that in this world giveaway and three million gems hell yeah baby says david dobney in the chat thank you for the 23 months bro you absolute legend all right i gotta do a building i gotta upgrade a building and upgrade this let's do that there you go done level 11 farm there we go lol i'll keep my account when i was quitting i had no tier 4 left i was setting rallies with tier 2 and still getting the burn <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny bro uh i ever got the uh cargo ship thing no oh crap uh use items that are classified under the resource tab okay i'll use some gold make that on um monster energy train troops i'm training glads training glads right now i ain't got enough glads we need gladiators i can't use my resources right now though because i'm actually i hit the bags the other day when i was doing my tier five i gotta get i gotta get the i've got to get this tier two inf up to 30 mil i get the tier two inf up to 30 mil and i gotta put a bit more tier five in there do guild first oh yeah Bear, I know you're looking at this and you're thinking, hmm. But I, I will I will get it done. I promise I'll get it done. <laughs> What's that? Oh, 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 get that. There you go. I can go. <laughs> I got a quest, guys. I got a quest. It's only 150 points, but I got a quest. Okay, I gotta get two legendary loots. I'll do that on my main account. Honestly, I I am I am terrible at Guild Fest. I'll be honest with you. I'm rubbish. I, I hate it. I actually hate that event so much. I hate it. I I, I actually hate it, guys. Honestly, it, it, I really can't stand that event. Like I, some of the rewards. I mean, the, the the rewards have definitely got better, but I hate it. I just I just hate it. It's horrible. Is there any research I need to do? Like, I don't think there is. Million battles. Wait. That gives me more. How much might is that? Mm. For 0.4 infinite percent. Is it even worth doing that? Hmm. 
I don't even know if it's worth doing that. 0.4. I mean, such a big difference in it from level 5 to level 10. 1.1. 1 .1, 10. You really don't get the stats until you do the last couple of levels. It's so much might. I don't, I'm not really interested, to be honest with you. Where's the... F Wait. I don't... I'm never going to go down and do slot 4 on this account. It's too much might, man. It's just too much might. I'm not doing that. Again, I don't need pack 4s on this account either. I don't need to do any more research. My research is complete as far as I need to do on this account. How much is how much is that? Eleven thousand. Okay, cool. There's a reason why I'm looking for a research. I want to use the familiar skill over here. <laughs> there we go. That's all I wanted to do it for. It's only eleven thousand, mate. There we go. <laughs> oh, and I get another quest for actually completing it. Hang on a minute. Where's it gone? <laughs> Let's complete it. There we go. Boom. I just done it to get my daily quest done. There you go. Easy. All right. Let's go over here. Just cancel the research. No, I'm not canceling the research. I wanted to. What's this? Ooh. Ooh, I might do that. How many books I got? 16 gold. Ooh. 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 Mm, this one's better. I'm going to take this up. Boom. That's a nice upgrade. HP upgrade. Mm. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. How many coins have I got? The guild fest is done. Knock it off. Knock what off? I didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing. I'm doing the guild first. Is the is it done? Did you guys kill level fives? It's done. Bear, I just done a quest. See how good I am. I done a quest, bear. Mhm. Mm you can't moan at me no more, bro. I done a quest. Hey, Mr. Prince. When will the teaming? Ah, oh, okay. I haven't finished up that. Listen, hidden. I haven't finished editing it yet. I want it to be a really good video. I haven't finished editing it yet. I need to finish editing it. I need some more time. I'm not finished yet. I'm putting the finishing touches on it. It's not finished yet. I just need some more time. I know I said I was posting the video of TWK and SSQ rallying today, but I just, I haven't had time to, I had to go, I had to go out this morning grocery shopping. I came back and then I started streaming. I, I haven't had time to edit it yet, guys. I just need, lazy? What? Bruh, <laughs> I just didn't have time. I will get it done though. I will get it done. I just haven't had time. I didn't have time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try and do some more work on it after I finish streaming today. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I don't want to release it today though, because I'm going to stream again later. Yeah, and then the notifications won't go out. Right? The notifications won't go out. And then nobody's going to nobody's gonna see it. I mean, everyone will probably see it anyway, but still it doesn't matter. I'm not post. I might post it tomorrow in the in the afternoon around 12 p.m. my time, and then I'll stream Final Fantasy in the in the in the evening tomorrow. Yeah, I think a Saturday release would be better than a Friday release. I think we'll release it. We'll release it Saturday. Yeah. Take the Tycoon quest. I ain't, okay. I don't think I've got any Tycoon coins though. I ain't got no Tycoon coins. And no, don't don't gift any tycoon coins to this account, bear. It's fine, man. Like, just just leave it. I'll do I'll do it on some other quests. I'll I'll gift it from my main account. I'll gift it from my main account. All right. Don't you do it. I'll 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 send I'll send I'll send the tycoon coins from my main. All right. Um. Okay. Talking about my main. We need to go over there and check what's going on over there. Let's go get my mate because the dailies are done over here. I got to put a new shield up. There we go. Where's my account? All right, it's in 1010. All right, okay. 
Borg didn't didn't migrate for Baron. Oh no. Can we get the old dirty cash didn't migrate for Bayern? Oh man, so many people didn't migrate for Baron. Holy shit. Bitcoin didn't migrate for Baron. Spitz didn't migrate for Baron. Pistol didn't migrate for Baron. Psycho didn't mi Wow, man. So many people didn't turn up for Baron and didn't migrate for Baron, man. Sheesh. Okay. We had a lot of people that didn't migrate for Baron Bear. Just saying. All right, let me get rid of these. And these. And these. Okay. Get my milk. All right, let's get on to my main account. Spitz can do Baron. Oh, he's Aussie. It's 4 a.m. for him. Uh, okay. I need to change the size of my screen. Add it on full screen. <laughs> Can't see anything like that. All right, let's bring this up. Here we go. Let's change it over to the main account, boys and girls. Let's go. Mm. There we go. I was just changing my screen size. All right. I need to do the free to play account as well. Uh, okay, let's just check this one out. See what's going on over here. Y'all come to do, y'all you came to the first Baron slot. Nah, we moved. Like we didn't want to do Baron in the kingdom with all of the bloody BX7 and all that lot. Like all them Chinese monsters. So we went somewhere else. So Baron's locked now anyway. So it doesn't matter if I show you, it doesn't matter now. We migrated to Kingdom 520, and uh, we, we 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 met up with Fam. So TW dollar sign, TW dollar sign are here. As you can see, they've they've moved in, and also over the other side of the base here, we also got KSR as well that have uh, that have jumped over as well. So TWK, TW dollar sign, and KSR, three of us. Is there any others here, Bear, or is it just us three? That we're gonna be we're getting ready for Baron. And put up three rallies for Baron this weekend. Are we gonna try for a push? I I I don't know the oh wait, uh KSR DX DXM are here as well. Holy shit, let's go, baby. Are they here too? I didn't see him around the base. I looked around. I only had a quick look earlier, to be fair. Yeah, where's DXM at? Yeah, we got four rallies for Baron. We got four rallies for Baron this weekend. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. All right, cool. So I don't know, like, where are they? Are they around the base or they gone somewhere else? Are they over at one of the other faults? Because I don't see them anywhere around here. Let me go see if we can go find DXM. <laughs> where you at, DXM? Anyone from DXM in the chat right now that can tell me where their hive is? Or did they just send a few players over for a strike team? So we'll have free rallies. I don't know. I'm looking around to see if I can find them. Not around there. Comet Fort? Wait, it was over there. No, that's not. Who are these guys? EL? Uh, do we allow people to come fill? I mean, you won't be able to. Uh, I don't think you can. You can't, you can't migrate now. They've been in Kingdom. We are the other. Oh, we're we the only ones that moved in. Where are they then? I'm just trying to show their little hive. I can't find them anywhere. They're not around the base, and they're not. I don't know. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the DXM are in here somewhere. So they're, they're 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 somewhere in this kingdom. Um, but yeah, TWK just sent a few players over. Uh, we should be able to put up a rally though with who we've brought, who came over. We've got a few now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's eighteen players. I mean, we should be able to get a wonder rally up. Shouldn't be a problem. And we get a couple of fillers jump over if we need to anyway from fam. So we'll have a rally up in TWK. Um, yeah, should be fun. 
should be fun. I don't know who we matched up with yet. I mean, that's always the thing, isn't it? We, 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 we can try and migrate to try and get a good matchup, but it just depends what we get. Nine times, 9.5, 9.5 times out of 10, we get matched up with maxed accounts and emperors. Like, that's just how it goes, right? Um, our Baron is on Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, we're doing Baron's Edge. So I have no idea who we've been matched up with yet. I haven't seen the matchup. Is, uh... Have you got the matchup there? Do you know who we're up against? Have you already spotted all that? Or do we not know who we're up against yet? Or do we know what guilds we got matched up with? Or what families or what it is we got? Because I have matchup in line. Oh, you got the matchup. Shit. Let me go check. I'm booting up. I'm booting. It's from fam chat. I'm booting it up now. I'm going to boot it up now. Edge is XUX and EB. Okay. I'd, XUX. They've got some. They've got a couple of good leads in there. Let me go look at fam chat. Where is it? Uh, fam chat. There we go. Let me take a look at this. So Baron's Edge is TW dollar sign, TWK, X, uh, KSR, and DXM all together. So we'll have we're gonna have three or four rallies up for this Baron. Yo, we got matched up with EB and XUX. So who's XUX? What who's XUX got? These are a big guild, aren't they? What, what, what are these part of? They're not part of oh Frit. No, man, that's fucking Frit. Are you serious? Fuck's sake, man. All right, well, Frit, we're going to be chucking doubles at you, bro. So just be warned. Okay, I've been looking forward to getting some revenge on this guy. All right, sweet, this guy. Yeah, 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 this guy. All right, cool, Frit. He ain't in the stream, is he? This is the guy that's going to be running the rally for these guys. Yo, Frit, we're coming at you with doubles and triples, bro. Get ready. <laughs> Yo. Yo, if they show up, if he shows up, we're putting triple rallies on him. He ain't holding shit. Yo, if we get a double or a triple going, man, he ain't holding nothing in that fault. Okay, great. We're gonna... We're, I, I've been looking forward to getting my hands on him. All right, cool. Because he beat me at a Baron a few Barons ago. Like, he kept knocking me. He kept knocking... He kept defending against me a few Barons ago. And he came in my stream and was like... <laughs> you know, he's giving all the big and I'm looking forward to that. Now, he won't be trembling, but we'll be coming. We've got multiple rallies. We'll be bringing them. Don't worry. He ain't holding nothing, man. The moment he goes in there, we're going to smack him straight out. Oh, that's going to be hella funny. And EB at sign. What is this? Who are these guys? All right, okay. Some random ass guild that's got like fucking 59 players in it. But of course, is running some fucking maxed account in it. weird isn't it uh, like it's a maxed account just hovering in that guild like what the hell so there's going to be a couple of maxed accounts there to fight against i mean it's barren it always is isn't it we always get matched up with some bullshit but it is what it is we're never going to get like a match where it's not a maxed account it happens every single baron without foul without foul but this is a good matchup because it looks like they're on their own and it looks good Baron boss, yeah, maybe. It looks like it's some weird ass, weird ass guild. Anyway, what the point is, it looks good. It looks good. I don't care if there's a maxed account there. One account ain't gonna do shit. We're gonna go with three or four rallies. It's pretty good. It's a, yo, guys, it's a pretty good matchup. It's a pretty good matchup. We should see. We will see. I'm looking forward to it. HLI. That's they've got. They've got some big ones, aren't they? And they've got some big accounts in there. I'm pretty sure. Are these guys got it as well? Are these guys matched up with the same the same one? Who's the big guy in here? Okay, that that guy is not a wonder. Well, he's not. He's not. Oh, that guy's a big guy here as well. So these guys are matched up with us as well. Yeah, this HLI guild. Yeah. All right. So it's gonna be this. So they they've got a maxed account too. All right. This 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 Aburaru guy. All right. Cool. It's fine. I'm, it's not. Big, it's no big surprise to me. I mean, it's obvious that there's going to be some maxed accounts at Baron. When when do we ever get to go to a Baron when it's not maxed accounts? But here's the weird thing. Here's the big thing, right? 
There's no Emperor accounts from what I can see. There's no Emp accounts at our Baron this time round. It looks like it's just Champ accounts. I don't care if they're Max Champ accounts. I don't care if they've got 11 Ks. When did that stop me? I, 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 th I think that's fine. That's actually Pog. Where it looks like it's just going to be maxed accounts with no Imps. Yeah, no Imp account is a W because the last Baron we done, we pushed. We just got Keck W'd by a five piece Imp account. That's literally why we didn't come first. We came second to it. So I'm not really worried about maxed accounts. Not when we've got, especially when we've not got like two, three, four rallies up. I mean, damn. I ain't worried about no maxed accounts when we've got three, four rallies going. It's going to be a walk in the park. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a walk in the park. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, Blubbers turned up as well. Let's go, Blubbers. This is our TWE rally lead, guys. Yeah, TWE is growing. If you're looking for a guild to join, then I mean, this is a good, this is a good one to go and look at. 1 billion plus. You don't even have to have tier five. You could be tier four working towards tier five. As long as you're over a billion might and you're a tier four player minimum, you can apply to TWE. This is the sec this is the next war guild we're building up. You can see it's already 130 million might. They've already got like a good amount of players. The depth in the guild is looking pretty solid as well. You can see they have a no numerous, quite a few two bill players. Well, like 10, 11, 11 players over two bill. Look, loads of 1.9s, 1.8s, 1.7s, 1.6. Their depth is getting there. At the moment, there's still some work to do. This skill's not complete yet. But like the top 50 is all over 1.2 bill, which is actually pretty good. And then down here in the last 25, there's a few smaller ones. And then probably a few alts down the bottom here, I can see. But the guild's building up nicely. If you're over a billion might and you're tier 4 and you're working towards tier 5 and you want to get into a war guild... This is the next war guild we're building up and coming. Come and hit them up. And you've also got yourself a solid rally lead to be running rallies for you as well. So you're not going to be joining rallies like you're not going to be joining rallies from me like, you know, because I'm a noodle. Yeah. So you're not going to be joining noodle rally lead like me. You get to join big rally lead with 11Ks and get the best hit possible. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> so there it is. I feel sorry for the guys in TWK because I have to join my rallies and they're always noodles, right? So yeah, anyway. <laughs> Sir Viper. Yeah, Sir Viper's here, man. Sir Viper is here. He'd be over there in TW dollar sign. You know what? Sir Viper is looking, looking thick, but also there's another player over in TW dollar sign that's also looking pretty thick these days. Um... Obviously, we've got Mr. Viper over here. I'm sure he'll be coming to Baron as well. Hopefully, he'll have some rallies up as well if he's not working, if he's free. Um, yeah, Viper's looking thick, man. 802 stars. What? <laughs> uh, 146 blessed and 1294 levels. Yeah, like Viper looking thick. Um, so, yeah. He's just got your last accessory to finish off. He's level 10 Astra on his last faith down there. He's got, to get his, he's got to get his faith done. But he's looking thick. And somebody else I want to shout out as well that has also been doing some insane upgrades in their account, man. Like, I saw it today. Bear mentioned it the other day to me, and I was like, oh, okay, I have to check it out. I had a look today. Is he, is he here, or is he just off somewhere doing something? Let me go see if I can find him. And obviously, again, TW dollar sign of recruiting two guys, 1.2 bill plus war players, tier five. You've got to have tier five to join this guild, okay? Because this is a war guild now, this one. Um, so, yeah. You've got, to, you've got to have tier five in this one. Bit more depth in TW dollar. You can see the top 20 players are all over 2 billion. And then it goes down. There is a drop off. You know, you get that drop off around about the 70, 75 mark where people... So still, these guys, these guys are recruiting pretty heavy at the moment as well. They need more players. Um... But these are just tier five in this one. Where is he? Is he not in the guild right now? Where is he right now? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, he's over there doing something. All right, cool. Yeah, Jam. Jam Bam 25 over here is one another one of the TW dollar sign rally leads. And he's boosted up a shit ton lately, man. I was like, what the hell? Like his uh, his uh, his accessories now are at ten eight five. He's been pushing those accessories, 
but your artifacts dude oh my god 99 blessed artifacts damn bro it's nearly at 100 man you're about to hit that one of 100 on your blessed which is awesome and over a thousand levels but yeah nah jam looking thick man he's got a really nice looking account it's coming along really nicely so yeah jam looking thick um so yeah we got some uh yeah jam looking very strong so we're looking it's looking good <laughs> jam's looking good yeah you're looking good oh some of you some of you uh some of you ssq peeps are in the chat if there's any in there you, you might recognize jam he used to be a part he used to be ssq a long long time ago before he came over to our farm uh he used to be over there <laughs> He had, a, he, he had a rally trap and he had his uh, rally lead account. And I remember he put his rally trap in TWK and he had his main account in, in SSQ. And any time that SSQ used to pull into our kingdom to fight, he used to take his rally trap out of TWK <laughs> and leave it somewhere else just so there was no conflict of interest. I was, he's such a cool, he's such a nice guy. Um, and then eventually he just came over with both the accounts. It's, it's nice to have him. In SSQ, you are a max filler. Pretty much. I'm a filler in SSQ, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? No, my account is not that bad, bro. It's my, my, I'm not max, but like my account does all right. You've seen me do all right. I don't, I don't do too bad. I want to check my small guild. Not right a second, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Is a rally party going on today? Uh, nah, we're getting ready for Baron this weekend, so we're not going to be no rally parties. And I haven't got a lot of gems. My gem's low. But I do have tier five and tier four, so that's good. I just my just it's just my gems are a little bit low. I actually need to train some tier four actually. Not right now, but anyway, let me go ahead and get these dailies done, boys. Let's go ahead and uh get this done. Looks like complete TW dollar sign came for Baron. No 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 no. So TW dollar sign, KSR, DXM were already in the kingdom with the four guilds. TWK just came with a small group to join them as like a small strike team. We've got 18 people here, so we can still put together a Wonder Rally. It's not a problem. It's not the full guild. The rest of the guild's back in 1010. So, yeah. Rest of the guild's back in 1010, dude. We'll be going back there after. We ain't finished with BX7 yet. We've got more of their castles to zero. Yeah, I said it. We ain't finished with BXM or KDM. We're going back after them after we finish Baron. We just moved out so we can try and get a better Baron matchup. And as it turns out, we did get a, Baron, a good Baron matchup. So it worked out all right. Oh, look. We are, we, did you guys know? We were doing challenge stages the other day. I got a gold medal on one of the challenge stages. Look at this. We This was great. I'm actually going to go yeah, go get more tiles of KD1 Layman. Absolutely. Yo, I, I'm going to do another stream of this. This was hilarious when we were doing this on stream. I can't believe I had over 200 people in here watching me do challenge stages the other day. It was hilarious. For those of you that were here, you'll know. We had a we had a, we had a bit of a time the other day doing this. I completed chapter one and I got my first gold medal. We're, we're gonna keep working on it, guys, because we need the gems. All right, we need the gems. It was hilarious. It, it was such a. I need to go in here actually. It was such a fun time doing challenge stages the other day. I don't think any of you do that. I don't think anyone's done the challenge stages. They're such a pain in the ass. No, he will not be streaming Baron. Yeah, Baron Bear won't let me, guys. Even with a delay, Bear won't let me. I know. I really want to do it. Like, I really want to. Because I know if I stream Baron, there'll be a shit ton of people in here watching. How many viewers do you reckon we'd have if I streamed the Baron push with TWK fam? I reckon there'd be so many people in here. I reckon we'd get a lot because I always get a lot of viewers in here when we're doing war stuff. And if I was doing a Baron push, we would have a lot in here, I think. The viewers would be amazing, but he won't let me do it. <laughs> It'd be five, six hundred. Yeah, I reckon. Or maybe even a thousand. It'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. I reckon there'll be a lot. I reckon it could hit a thousand. I reckon it could hit a thousand plus if I do a Baron. I would love to do it, but he won't let me. Chat, he won't let me do it. Because I was going to stream the Baron push when I went for it a few weeks, few last couple. You know, you know, a couple of Barons, you know, a couple of Barons ago, I went for it and I got second. I wanted to stream that. And I said in the leadership chat, I'm going to stream Baron. And he, he was like, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like, come on, man, let me stream it. It'll be really cool. He's like, nah, nah, not streaming it. He won't let me do it. He won't let me. He is right. No, he is right. 
If I the problem is, guys, even with a delay, if I stream Baron, you're gonna get Igors from the opposite guilds sitting in the stream looking for any information they can get on what I'm doing to give them an advantage in the fight. And we all know that's what's gonna happen. There'll be so many enemy guild players from that Baron just sitting there watching my stream to see if they can catch a comp, if they can catch anything that I'm doing on the call, anything that's said. They will be constantly monitoring to see if they can get any information to help them determine if they want to hit me or not. I'll get stream snipes so hard, it's unbelievable. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not streaming it. I will record it and I'll put a video up like I'd always do. All right, if we play. But at least we get to hope, we get and hope for some commentary vids later. Yo, Anch is like proper against me doing music videos. I do a music video, he's like in the comments. I don't like this. You're not talking. Like, why aren't you talking? But sometimes I like to give my voice a rest, you know? Like, shut up, Prince. Just play the, put the content on and put some music going. Get some music going on it. <laughs> Gift the token on your trap. Oh, shit, man. Brian just reminded me. Damn. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hold on a sec. Oh man, I, I, why did you have to remind me of that, dude? Like, why did you have to remind? Oh shit, let me do that. Oops. Oh crap. Yeah, Sakib. I haven't had the chance to edit it yet. I've been busy, bro. I'm, I am editing it. No, no, it's, it's, it's about eighty percent done. I'm not, I'm not finished yet. I gotta keep editing. I'm going to go back and do some editing after I finish the stream before Dragon Arena. I'm going to post it tomorrow because I can't do it today. The only way you can stream is if you pulls the Baron up on the trap so you can see the Baron fall, but you won't hear the call or anything. So it'll be convoluted. Yeah, none of you are going to want to watch that. I used to like chat. Do you really want me to stream the Baron from my from my trap? I can't do it from my trap because my trap is in a different kingdom. It won't be able to get in. It won't be able to get into the into the Baron. Like you guys ain't gonna want to see me stream off of an account. You can't even hear me. It's just music. You guys are never gonna want to watch that. You're gonna want to hear the call and everything. You know. Let me just record it. Oh shit. You know what? I don't even. I don't even want to kill this. It's a waste of energy. Why am I even doing this? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not killing that. I don't care. It's a waste of energy. I got attacked by Becca. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to attack that. It's just, I just don't, I just can't be bothered to kill it. I, I'm saving my energy for Necrosis. I just used my hunting thing by accident. Record it and upload it in, and edit it. I'll watch the whole thing. Okay, Cam. So the problem with me recording a four hour line call on Baron and uploading it unedited the problem with that is that means it would also potentially be unfiltered and sometimes when i'm rallying at wonders and i get a good result i get a bit overexcited sometimes i think that's the best way i can put it um and probably wouldn't be suitable for a youtube video some of the things that come out of my mouth uh when i <laughs> Which is why sometimes I have music and I don't commentate because I have to mute the actual line call. What do you mean sometimes? Bro, what do you mean sometimes? Bro, what do you, <laughs> what do you mean sometimes? That, nah, I, 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 I'm not that bad, but like sometimes I will say, say something which will just be like, oh wow, like, you know. <laughs> And like, it's just, it's just, it just wouldn't be suitable for YouTube. Um, some of the things that come out of my mouth. Uh, so yeah, like I get a bit excited sometimes when I'm doing wonders and yeah, I, I, I tend to get in the moment and just be like, I, I, no, the filter, the filter disappears, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. So I probably, probably don't know about unedited, unfiltered, but I definitely will make a video for you guys. No idea what you're talking about. We have good, wholesome, family-friendly calls. Exactly. Exactly, Red. And I've been trying to say that during the stream, and, and, and I feel like I'm getting some pushback, but, you know. Mm. Create your own streaming website or something, then you have control. True. But then... I mean, that's actually true. I say what I want then. I'm not governed by any rules. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I should set up a web page where you have to pay 10 bucks to actually get access to it. 
And if you go into it, it actually it brings up the stream with full unfiltered commentary for four hours. Like a pay-per-view event. I could turn around and say, okay, guys, we're going to be doing a Baron this weekend. We're going to be doing the push. Four rallies are coming up from TWK fam. We're going for the first place victory. Want to watch it live, unfiltered, unedited, action. Join the pay-to-view event. 10 bucks gets you in for the whole four-hour stream. Let's go, baby. Pay-per-view Baron. Yo, that sounds like a banging job. That sounds like only fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pay the 10 bucks and not only will you get to watch Baron, but I will be walking around during the stream with my balls hanging out for everybody to see. You get a full face full of Prince's balls and a Baron stream. All for just $10. Sign up now, guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, I reckon we'll be a sellout. We will just sell that shit out. Look, Alpha, sign me up. Look, see, there it is. There it is. Everyone's in. Everyone's in. Too much to imagine. I don't know if they'd fit on the screen. I mean, it might be too much, you know. I have to zoom out a little bit, you know. <laughs> Business ideas, all right? Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. I think we can make bank on this. We just make bank on this. Sign me right up, says Nathan's War Games. He's in. He wants it. Let's go. <laughs> zoom in, you mean? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, cheers for that. Okay. I would watch, says Maine. <laughs> yeah, people would watch just so they could take screenshots so they could make memes. It'd be like a, it'd be an online meme generator. I'd wake up the next morning and then Discord would just be full of memes. Oh my God, I can only imagine. It'd be insane. 10 bounds better include feet pics. Oh, you're one of those, David, are you? You're one of those. Ah, slams credit card on table. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Uh, okay. The main account is done. I do need to stick a webcam under your desk so we can have a ball cam. Bro, you don't want ball. <laughs> you don't want ball cam, dude. <laughs> That's insane. Only if it lasts an hour, it's a sh shot hour. Oh my God, guys. You guys are crazy. You guys are... You guys are all damn bad so much. <laughs> okay, let's get it. We're going to go ahead and gift my rally trap some tokens. Let's go gift the tokens. Where is it anyway? Oh, no, it's down here, isn't it? Clean me up. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and give the gem gifts. i got to give it to... Oh, man, my gems, though. <laughs> Yo, Bear, why'd you make me take this quest, bro? G-string cowboy boots. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, that's it. Nah, no, but, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we could get a foot cam. We'll get a foot cam for David. Just a foot cam in the corner of the screen so you guys can get to look at my feet. Would you like that? That sounds like fun. Bye-bye, gems. Bye-bye, gems. Bye-bye, gems. It was nice knowing you. Bye-bye, gems. Wait, what? Oh, oh, bear! I can't send no more. I'm ten. I'm ten tokens short. I haven't got no linkable gems. I've oh no, no giftable gems. I've only got two thousand six hundred giftable. The rest of it is linked. Oh no! Rip. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for the ten. Thank you, bro. I'll have to do that. I'll do it after the stream. I'm doing it now. We're going to finish off today's stream by jumping onto the free-to-play account, peeps. I'm just going to go and log in. Give me a second. Um, let's log into this. Oh, that was handy. Just as I logged in. Logged, there we go. You win the jackpot. I highly doubt. You want me to... Wait, you want me to do... Do you want the tokens done now? You don't want me to do the tokens now, dear. That takes chat what do you want let me know in the chat do you want me to go on free to play account and do click the clicks or do you want me to go and do the tokens on the rally trap you have to let me know chat chat decides you guys let me know do you want free to play clicks or do you want tokens free to play clicks tokens free to play tokens free to play free to play tokens so far it's pretty 50 50 tokens Rally trap, tokens, rally, uh, free to trap, free to play, free to play, both, both, says Borg. Borg, it's your fault, man. I don't want to. 
<laughs> it's always your fault, bro. Hang on a sec. Okay, we're doing. We're gonna do. But do the free to play first. We'll do both then. You guys want both? Oh my god. Both wasn't an option. It was this or this. You. I, I didn't say both. Okay. Okay. We're doing both apparently. All right. Whatever. Let's do both. Okay. I'm loading it up. Give me a second. I'm like, right. Choose this or choose that. Everyone's like, do both. It's like, oh. Okay, we'll do both. Probably a good idea because I probably will forget. I probably will forget about them and not end up doing it. All right, so we're going to log out of here and we're going to log into the free to play account. SSQ guy dreads won 34 million gems today. Nice. It's a nice win, isn't it? 34 mil. That's a lot of gems. It's always Borg's fault, guys. I wish the big war events were easier to follow. You think IGG would want to live stream the Emperor event with commentary? Yeah, you would think so. But the thing is, they can't do that, Tasty Licks. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why they can't do that? Come on. I'm waiting for someone in the chat to give me the answer. I know the answer. Why can't IGG live stream their Emperor event once every six weeks and have IGG staff commentating over the event? Why do you think they can't do that? Why do you think they don't do that? I know why they don't do it. Bots. <laughs> bots. It's bots. It's because there's loads of cheating that happens to Emperor and they can't sit there and commentate over an event. They know everyone's cheating in. And also it's probably full of IGG sponsored accounts as well. Like how the hell can they have IGG employees commentating over an event that you can blatantly see all the bots. The stream chat would spam full of bot comments if they started using it. How are they going to respond to that? Crazy. Do you know what I mean? Like, it'd be nuts. There's no way they would do that. I always said this. I said this a very long time ago. I turned around and said, what IGG should do is do what games like Dota do. When they do big events like Baron or, or what's it called? Baron or... or emperor they should live stream it with a couple of officials watching it and commentating over it and that way if someone gets spotted cheating they can just press the button and pull them straight out of the arena bye you ain't gotta ban the account just press a button and, t and, and mic and teleport their castle out of the arena and stop them from coming back to the arena that's it simple 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 it's really easy you ain't gotta ban the account just block them from playing the event but they won't do that because a lot of the people, uh, uh, I think, I think a high majority of the accounts that get that, that you know, that are getting pushed by those bots are probably, probably IGG accounts anyway. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's just I don't know, man. I, 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 it's just a, it's just an annoying topic to talk about. But yeah, there's 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 a lot of cheating that goes on. And IGG know this and they still haven't fixed it. It's never going to get fixed. It's just its just one of those things you have to accept that there's cheating in this game, unfortunately. That's it. They're hiding behind a computer makes making a pound per second. I know, right? I'm talking about a referee. Yeah, like an official that can actually sit there and like monitor what's going on in the match. And then they can basically remove people that are cheating. It's very obvious to see who's cheating in, in, in an event like that. You can pretty much tell straight away. Our sponsored account smacking people out. Yeah, there it is. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. I said it before. I'll say it again. They only care about money, not the players themselves. I know. It, I, 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 I hate to... You know what, dude? I hate to agree with you. And I've tried so long, I think. I think I've been on Copium for like so many years trying to think that IGG actually do care about their player base because the way they say things sometimes makes it sound like they really do. But then you, but you saying that makes me realize, you know what, you're probably right. But all they really care about is making money. That's it. They don't really care. Otherwise, they would have changed Guild Expedition by now, wouldn't they, to what it needs to be instead of leaving it as it is. It's just stupid, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe you should start your own game like this, perhaps. I would love to. You know what? I would start. I wish I could. It takes. Do you know how much money it takes us to build a game like this? Oh my God. Money I definitely haven't got, dude. I would love to sit down with a developer 
who's looking to make a mobile game like this and show them exactly how they should go about doing it to make they'll make money but not only will they make money and they will make a lot of money right a shit ton of money they won't know what to do with the amount of money they make they will make a lot but they'll do it in a way which keeps the community inside the game happy and thrive and enjoy playing the game if there's any developer out there that's looking to make a mobile game and you need assistance i will i will happily assist you in helping you make a mobile game that will literally be the number one army game like this on the market you will you will make bank just take my advice because there's, there's so many things which I, like there's so many things in lords mobile that i could change for the better and people would still more people would play it and the game company with igg would still make bank on it bank big time bank man i got so many good of good ideas so many cool ways to change the game the what the game mechanics the gameplay the upgrade the updates everything oh man it would oh my god i could i would just need with lords mobile i would need 24 hours give me 24 hours and i'll change at least 10 things in this game that would make it 100 times better 100 times better and they'll make so much more money loads more money and it won't actually hurt the game population at all in fact the game population would thrive crazy right do you want to know the first thing i'd do one thing i'd do one thing i'd set up in lords mobile yo igg are you listening i'm about to give you a literally a multi-million dollar idea right now you ready for this multi-million dollar idea check this one out i would make an event i would make a new event just like chalice just like chalice right but the only people but the, pe the people that have got champion gear any champion gear even if you've got one piece of champion gear anyone that's got champion gear or 11k heroes on their account can't set a rally on the main base in the middle the only people that can set a rally on the main base in the middle is anybody that hasn't got champion gear or hasn't got an 11k hero and the prize for coming first place in this event the prize for coming first place in this event the prize for coming first place in this event would be a mythic piece of champion gear <gasps> the first of the prize for for winning it would be a mythic piece of champion gear or gold maybe gold actually no mythic 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 you'll get a mythic piece of champion gear for winning it or maybe a gold something really good or champion chests maybe i don't know something something really good something really really good i don't know something really really good it's not i would be able to get content because i would go i could join the rallies that other people are doing i think maybe a mythic piece of champion gear i think a mythic piece of champion gear would be really cool like you get to, like a, a random piece of mythic champion gear Or I'd change it so that you couldn't rally the fall if you had 11Ks. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'd fix it like that. I think I'd, I'd have it I'd have it set up so that you couldn't rally the fall, the main fall, if you, if you had like, I don't know, if you had maybe Astralite on your champ gear or something like that. Basically, to basically create a lower level version of Chalice. That doesn't have maxed accounts that are completely maxed getting pushed for first place chalice because they really need the rewards no they don't need them at all it's just an ego thing they have to win so i i would i would maybe do that i think i would have it so that if you've got an 11k hero you can't activate a rally on the main ball base and not champ gear because the problem with that then is if someone wins a piece of mythic champ gear they won't be able to play the event again and that's no good so i think if you've got an 11k hero if you have an 11k hero on your account, a gold one on your account, 
when you go to set a rally on the base in the middle, the, the base will recognize that you've got a gold 11k on your account and it will say you're not eligible to set a rally on this fall. So anybody else in the game that doesn't have 11k heroes, that's just got champ, right? Just champ and the Astralite's fine. You know, artifacts, whatever. Yeah. Just non 11k accounts can only participate in that particular war. That way people could work on trying to get their mythic champ now giving someone a piece of mythic champ gear for winning that event is not a big deal and the reason it's not a big deal is because even if somebody gets a full set of champ gear off of the back of doing that event right they still can't do shit against the other accounts because they've got no astrolite on it they've still got to astrolite all that gear which costs a fortune to astrolite all that gear so just because you give someone a full set of champ if you've got a player that's got a full full mythic champ they ain't going to be able to beat you in the beat the big boys and the wonders without no astrolite. So, I mean, like, it doesn't really matter that you give people that. But the point is, it would allow people to compete who don't have the 11Ks. I think it's a really, really good idea. I think that would make a load of money for them. They could put some, they could do some special packs around the event. They could, it, it would be good. Then they have to make an event for the 11K boys. Imagine how pissed they will be not to participate and they are the spenders. No, 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 Roman. They don't need to do an event for the 11K boys because the 11K boys have got Emperor. The 11K boys have got Baron. The 11K boys have got Chalice. Okay. They've got that. Well, they've got all of that. I think they need to make an event for the people that are not like got the bigger maxed account. Big, bigger have maxed or not far from maxed accounts. That's why I believe it would be better um, for them to do an event which appeals to people that have got lower end accounts. It's still a bloody high account. You go to that, you know, that's what I think they should do. An event like that would be huge. And lots of guilds would be interested in that. Lots of players would be interested in that event. I think it would create a war zone on the base for people trying to compete for that piece of gear. I think that's a banging idea. I think it's an absolute banger of an idea. I mean, there is the argument that, hang on a minute, why should these people play this event and get a piece of Mythic Champ gear when I had to buy all those packs to level up my Champ gear? I mean, also, IGG could be looking at that idea and saying, oh, yeah, but if we do that, people might not buy the Rising Champ packs and stuff. Well, actually, no, they won't. They will, they potentially will because people will be like, okay, I'm full, I'm full Mythic right now and I want to compete at this upcoming event for this piece of mythic champion gear i really could do with an, a piece of mythic champion gear to help me try and win another piece so they might go and buy some rising champ packs to get maybe a pair of boots or a chest piece or a helmet or a, or a main hand so that they, they go in with one piece of champ to try and compete you know i think i think it definitely will would it would create more people wanting to buy rising champ trying to build up their champ it will give some it will give people an event to look forward to and get excited about where they could get a really cool reward. That's a really cool reward, man. Like that, that'll be cool. I, that, that's that's what I would do. That's one big change I would make to Lords. And I think I would put it on a trial basis initially. I would run it for a few months and just see how it goes. And I guarantee it would be insane. It would make them so much money. Loads of medium spenders would be spending the same, maybe more to push for it. It would be really good. And no one would complain because there'd be a banging reward for getting the first prize. A piece of Mythic Champ gear, holy shit. But that's really really good it's a solid reward and i wouldn't have the event every three weeks i'd have the event like once every six weeks i wouldn't rotate it as often as that i'd have it like once every six weeks that's what i would do yeah like that that's what i would do i think i'd do it i'd do it like the weekend before emperor one weekend i'd have that big event giving away the piece of champ gear and then the next weekend i'd do the emperor but yeah, it has to be like no 11k players are allowed to are allowed to rally it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, look, look, that's my idea anyway with the champ gear. I mean, they could do other things like Intruder just said in the chat. They could give away 11k hero shards. Yeah, you could do that. They could do 11k shards. You could get, yeah, 10, 10 shards. That's a great idea as well. 10, 11k. Yes, yeah, so you can't rally the full if you're an 11k player. But if you win... And you, you might get the chance to get 10 shards for your 11k. So you can start working towards getting your 11k done. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Because even if somebody does that event a bunch of times and they get their 11k to gold doing that event, they've still got two 11ks to get. 
So they still got, and they, they won't be able to do the event no more if they get all the medals, medals for it. But in saying that, you can rotate it, can't you? You can rotate the what shards you get. One, one, one event it could be done. Or you could make them choose. You could put all three shards available inside and then people can choose what shards they want. Maybe five of those, five of this, five Lightweaver, five Shapeshifter or whatever. Either way, I think it's a really good idea of doing something like that. But it has to, so to allow Wonders to appeal. Well, not appeal. Wonders does appeal to so many players in this game, but so many players don't participate because of constant maxed accounts with 11Ks and max 12 Astro and maxed artifacts. Like there's players that have got like five to eight, five piece champ to almost four piece champ with basic Astrolite. So we're talking level maybe three, four, five. They're not maxed. They don't have 11Ks. They want to go and play Baron. These accounts have got all their wonder research done. They've got their coalition heroes. They want to go and play Baron, but they don't pull in with their guild and show up for Baron because when they look at the Baron base, it's full of maxed accounts that they can't compete against. So they, they look at their guild and say, there's no point us going because we can't play against these people. And this is the problem that's happening in Lords Mobile. It's been happening for a very long time. That so many these people that have spent a lot on their accounts that want to play the Wonders can't play the Wonders because they can't stand up to the big accounts that are pretty much littered in every single Baron. So create an event that allows these people to actually play some Wonder fighting. I mean, I mean, IGG could argue, but we've got Dragon Arena. That's not the same. We've got Guild Expedition. It's most definitely not the same. It's not the same. Not the same. It's not the same. So there you go. That's that's, that's my opinion anyway. Or Gold Main instead of Mythic Champ. Yeah, maybe. Maybe some Gold Mains. I don't know. Something really good though. Something like really pucker that where people see the reward. They don't go, oh, I don't know if it's worth it. They see the reward and it's like, holy shit. Wow, they're giving that away? I want it. Make people want it. And then you'll get, you know, create the want and then you'll get the rest of it with it. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I, re I, re I think it could be, uh, that that would be amazing. You know? Or you could just do what IGG does, put out an event that nobody plays because it's not worth it because the rewards are awful and the uh, game mode itself is just too long and drawn out. The point system is broken and nobody plays it. So I don't know who over IG IGG is creating these events, but clearly whoever's creating these events needs to rethink the decisions they're making because whoever at IGG came up with the Guild Expedition event and the rules on that, I would honestly, if you're the boss of IGG, if you're the CEO, I would go and find the person that came up with the rules and regulations around Guild Expedition, grab them by the back of their shirt and literally throw them out the nearest window because they obviously haven't got a clue what they're doing. They don't know their, they don't know the community. They don't know the audience. They don't know anything about what's going on inside this game. So I don't know who is in charge of that at IGG, but I would probably sack them immediately. Like, cause they don't know what they're doing. Like they're absolutely useless. Like, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to make a decent, decent event, you know? But anyway. Mike, did you see their Facebook post this morning about a free player event? No. But well, I'm checking it out now. Let's go take a look. If it's anything good, I'll show you. Yeah, let's go take a look. Did they put out an, an, a notice today about something or other? I don't know, bro. Let's go take a peeky. Posts. Right, they posted a post about the new leader skin, which actually, I think whoever designed that is actually it's pretty cool, man. Somebody, somebody, the comments always make me laugh. Somebody commented on this uh, post on Lords Mobile's Facebook page. Uh, they posted a picture of the new leader skin, Main Maverick, and a couple of comments I'll read out here. These are such a joke with what it takes to unlock these. Looks nice, but a little too much with leader skins coming out so fast. Is he blackfaced? Would be wonderful if he was. Would be the first ever. What? There is no saying. There's no. There is no saying to tear you apart. It's just there's some, there's some really weird comments on here. No one's really enjoying that. And then I always find it funny when people comment on these Facebook posts and all they comment is their IGG ID because they think they're going to get some free gems. It's always really interesting. I think it's hilarious. It makes me laugh. What's this? We are thrilled to announce the 2024 
Lords Mobile World Championship. As part of our 8th anniversary celebration, players from all around the globe will get to sign up in teams of three in March. The top 12 teams will convene in, in Phuket, Thailand for the championship in May. The championship will take place on an exclusive server where all participating teams will take part in thrilling battle royale with special event rules to determine the top three teams. The winners will receive exclusive event trophies, prizes including substantial cash rewards and more. Gather your friends and prepare to join us in battle in beautiful Phuket for an exhilarating showdown. Stay tuned for more info. Damn. So basically I would need to create a team of three people, me and two other people. Thing is though, how are you ever going to win that? How are you ever going to win that? Like, how are you going to win that? Like, oh, you're going to go up against a team of three, and I guarantee you'll get a team that's got three Emperor accounts in it. Do you know what I mean? You'll get a team of three Emperor accounts in it, for sure. Show you. That requires me to take a screenshot and do work. Hang on a minute. You want me to show you? Hold on a sec. Lords Mobile Esports. Lol, the bot users will be so sad. True. So who am I going to have on my team then? I'm going to need to pick a couple of pretty strong players. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm a noodle. So I'm going to need a couple of strong ones to hold to carry me. Who am I going to gonna boot team up with for the carry? I need a couple of strong accounts to come with me, don't I, on that? Or not go anywhere. We've got to win first. I'm going to need a couple of big boys to go with me on that. Take Jam Jam and Surviper. Me, Jam and Surviper. That's a pretty solid team. Me, Jam and Surviper. Viper Jam and me. <laughs> Alright, so Syed said WP Tashi and Avatrex in one team. Okay, so it's a bit difficult because Avatrex, by the looks of things, has sold his account. So... Yeah, there's that. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard yesterday. So apparently, yeah, that that that's how that's happened. Um, either that or IGG's trading in that for a new one. <laughs> I don't know. Either or. Um, and 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 Tashi doesn't play at the moment. I don't know what he's doing. He's obviously taking some kind of break. He probably he probably rise up from somewhere at some point, but he's not around at the moment. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, okay. Let me bring this up. Okay. You guys making me do work this morning. Um. Oh, my OBS is just done something weird. Oh, there we go. There. That's the Facebook post I posted 10 hours ago. Unleash your power, conquer the world. So teams of three. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely register a team. I'll need to find out who's who's available. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll see who's available. I'll see who's available. Like, I, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe Jam and Jam and Viper want to join up together and do, and maybe you'll have one of the TW dollar sign people and do a TW dollar sign team. Well, I was saying that, I'm sure you could do multiple teams from the same guild if it's going to be, if it's going to be like teams of three. There's going to be loads of teams. There's going to be loads of teams. It should be more like unleash your wallet and conquer the world. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> I mean, the people that are going to be like winning that are going to be maxed accounts and emperor accounts and all the rest of it. Like, no one's going to get a shot. At, like, no one's going to get a shot at going to Thailand. I would, guys. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, look, I talk shit about IGG all the time because I told you why I do it. It comes from a place of caring about the company, about the well, not necessarily the company, but the game. I like the game, man. I've been playing this game for seven years. Come on, I like this game. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep doing it. But like, seriously. 
I would love it, man. I would love to go to Thailand with a, with a team and play in some live of man that would be so cool and you know what the sad thing is i feel like i've got i feel like i've got the skill to be able to do it the trouble is i ain't got the account <laughs> like i just ain't got the account like I, I got enough knowledge i think to outplay a lot of these peeps you see it all the time when i'm going up against mixed accounts you know what i mean i've got an account that's nowhere near the value spent on some of these maxed accounts i beat on wonders and stuff like it's not like i don't know what i'm doing like, I'd love to. I'd love to go and play an event like that. It would be so cool. What an experience to go to Thailand and play in a Live Lords mobile competition. Oh my god, man. That would be so freaking cool. I would love that. But, but, I get you. I'm mauled about IGG. Yeah, I do. I'm mauled a lot about it. But, like, I, I would love to. What a fantastic experience that would be, man. I could vlog it for the channel. Man, I'll be doing live streams out there. I'll be vlogging it, man. It, what an experience that would be to do a live Lords Mobile battle out in Thailand. I would I would freaking love to do that. I would love to do it. That'd be like a dream to do that. But like, but the, the trouble is, man, like it's the top 12 teams and that's going to be full of maxed accounts. It's going to be very difficult to get a placement. Very difficult. But we will make a team and we will compete 100% and we'll see how we go. Um, if there's any content around it, I can record to show you how the events go or anything. I'll record it and post it for sure. For sure, that'd be great content. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely keep you updated when that's when that event starts, so you know how it goes. I don't know, but I'll, def I'll definitely, I'll definitely be trying that, trying that. Absolutely. Would be great to see face reveals of big players. Yeah, I bet OCR's got like parted greasy hair like that with like four inch thick glasses, you know. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That's a joke. 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 I have no hair, so I'm you know laugh at me. I'm I'm bald. It's fine. I'm joking, all right. Um, it's all it's all cool. It's all cool. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I bet no no on a, on a, on, a, on a real on a real note. I bet OCR's like some kind of giga chad. Probably drives like a Lamborghini in Dubai or some shit. You know that, right? That's probably what it is. That's the real truth. That's what he was right now. He's Asian. Is he Asian? I don't know. I don't know where he's from. I'm just messing around. <laughs> Watch him be seven foot tall and ripped. Yeah. Yeah. It come up to me around the neck. So you're the one that's been taking the piss out of me. You know, I'm, I'm like, oh shit. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine? Worthy Prince goes to Thailand event. Gets jaw broken by OCR. <laughs> Uh, this is for making fun of me all this time. Bosh. <laughs> yeah, he's got that FU money, right? He probably won't even like attack me. He'd get like people to do it. He'd be like, see that guy over there? Take him out. Take him out. <laughs> I want him out. Get, him, get rid of him. <laughs> that shit's funny. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. Let's get rid of this image. Okay. So that's, that's, that's something that's coming in March. That, that, that actually sounds kind of cool, but I mean, obviously at the same time, it's like, well, we've got no chance because it's all going to be Emperor Max the Counts. But okay, we'll give it a go. Um, the image you mentioned matches his voice. Does it? Oh, okay. Wait, I ne I've never heard his voice. I never heard his voice. So I don't know. Okay. He sold the five piece M. Yeah, I know he did. But he already boosted his other account with like two or three piece M anyway. So, I mean, doesn't really matter. You know, um, anyway, we will get the dailies done at some point. Um, shelter troops. Bro, check global rankings and you're free to play. Hang on a minute. Hang on, I'm just trying to get this done. Hold on. Give me two seconds, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Oathkeeper. There we go. I need to do another one. Got to use 2k gems, unfortunately. There we go. One, two. Nice. Use an emote. Always do the car. There we go. Uh, construction upgrades. Uh, still a farm. There we go. That's that done. And another farm will get started. Okay, good. 
collect those. That's chest number three. Research. I got eight days in the research. I can't do that right now. Uh, holy stars. Imagine a 19 year old boy with Max Decan showed up, some rich family background. I mean, guys, some of the big Max Decans in this game might just be that. You know, there are kids, that are young kids, that are young adults that are part of rich families, man, that want to play Lords Mobile because they like the look of the game. And they'll just go up to the dad and say, Dad, I'm playing this mobile game and I need to buy some shit. Can you transfer 50 grand over for me so I can get myself maxed out? Yeah, no worries, son. Boom. 50 grand goes straight into his account. Boom. Max is at his account. It, it's really just a, it's really just a, it's really just a case of uh, perception. What is what is a lot of money to some people is small change to somebody else. I know it's sad, man, when you think about it. It's like, damn, fifty grand's nothing, but it's true though. For some people, man, fifty grand is nothing. It's pocket change. Some people spend fifty grand just like going out for dinner with some and having some drinks of an evening with a few of their friends. Oh, don't worry, guys. I'll pay. How much is it? Fifty grand? Yeah, sure. Don't worry. Should take should take Black American Express. There you go. I know, I know, some to some people, fifty grand is nothing. It's just pocket change, and that's just the truth, man. Like every every everyone has a different perception of what's a lot of money and what isn't a lot of money. So when we look at these heroes in Lords Mobile, and we're like, "Wow, that's an eleven k hero!" Like, what the hell? Like, it's insane, right? To a lot of people, but then to some people, it's it's nothing. It's like, okay, let's get it. Let's get three of them. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's got a different perception of, of money, man. It's just, it just it is what it is. And that's why it's very, it's very difficult sometimes for people who don't have that perception to understand that perception. I understand the perception. I, I don't have that perception because I don't have that kind of money. But I understand it. And I don't get angry with it. I just like taking the piss out of it. Because <laughs> I think it's funny. You know, and I think a lot of other people, a lot of people find it funny, you know, it's just it's, it's to, to a lot of us. It's kind of hilarious when you see it. But like, it's the truth, though. A lot, some people just have don't have to stress out about that kind of stuff. Where's Al Jade? I have no idea, bro. I think he sold his account. No idea, dude. I have no no idea at all, dude. Um... I was I just was on Instagram and noticed you kind of look like Jack Black. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see it. For, I mean, okay, but I I I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't I don't see it to be honest with you. Jack Black. I mean, I I don't mind being I don't I don't mind people saying you look like this person or that person, but Jack Black. I don't know. I don't, I don't see that one. How's Carnival going? It's going really well, Miss L. Really well. Um, I went grocery shopping today. I managed to get a really good deal today. My whole week shopping came in at like 53 pounds, which is like 60 bucks. I, I, I'm trying to get it do, it, do it on a do it on a budget. Are we rallying someone. Are we rallying this guy. I don't know who this guy is. Was he in Akin Just Real? Who are these guys? RM. Oh, he's here to bait. Rally me. Oh god, that's 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 just a that's just a stupid trap. Don't don't rally that. What's that account for? This is my free-to-play account. I I play this account to enjoy the the, the gameplay of free-to-play. And experience free-to-play. It's the first time I've experienced free-to-play in like God knows how many years. So there, this is my free-to-play account, bro. Uh, train troops. Okay. Let's do some tier three range. There we go. And I think that's gonna be that one done. Gotta hit a monster. Your max account is uh, your max account is what? Ninety million ore. Your max all one is nine, no, 90 million. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I'm at 40 mil almost. Get in there. Let's hit this. Let's hit this. Free to play with some mixture of pay to play packs. No, no, no. It's free to play, bro. What are you talking about? A free to play account. Uh, I've got that one. Oh, I 
I took my gear off. Let's just put that on. It is free to play. Look at my gear. Free to play, but bought the worst pay to play perks. <laughs> Nah, I mean we might have got a couple we might we might have got a couple of one dollar or like a couple of couple of dollar packs. I might have bought one material madness pack. But I mean other than that, it's pretty much free to play. Okay, we got some stuff in there. Got some chests to open up. Um Don't forget to check the global rankings. Okay, hold on. Uh ten and Oh, I thought that was a gold seed then. Oh, that was a shame. Okay, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. A pile of poop. What's new? A pile of poop. Check the global rankings. What, like, oh, global rankings? Oh, Dominion rankings. What am I looking at? Player Dominion rankings. What am I looking for? I mean, as a free as a free to play, I do have money to spend, but I don't have medium for transaction. I'm 16 year old. My parents don't allow me to have my own PayPal or something. Good, don't do it, bro. Stay free to play. I confirm this is from a Chinese player. They get up to 70 to 80 percent off, just like we get on Huawei and Aptoid. Oh, really? They get 70 to 80 percent off their packs in China? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Yo, what are you asking? Look at Echo. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, that's got to be fake. He's got a level six Astra offhand. That can't be his champ. No, that's all. No, that can't be. Is that his champ gear? Oh my God. What the F is this? Wait, 1455. Five. That's a really new kingdom. 1455. Five. That's no, that's not that new. What the hell is that? And these kills, he's got 500. Dude, it's a killing machine. Bev, he's got no kills. He's got a fight. I've got, I've got, wait, I think I've got more kills than this guy. He's got 494,000 kills. What are these accounts? Oh my god, man. Yo, these accounts are crazy bad. What are these accounts, man, in the top of the rankings? Oh my god. Okay, this guy's been spending some money. That's that that, that look What the hell? He's got four thousand kills. Yo, none of these accounts in the new kingdom are any good. They're all like really high might, but they're all shit. For the most part, I mean, that one guy was all right, but I mean. Yo, all these accounts suck ass. I mean, that, that, that that's a nice account. That's a real, that, that looks like a real player. Mike Bannon. <laughs> are, you a, are you a fan of the, uh, what's it called? Um, Angel has Fallen films. Uh, they're, 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 they're really good. The, the Fallen films, the uh, Gerard Butler movies, they're really good. That's his name, isn't it? Mike Bannon in the movies. Yo, man, all these accounts over a bill are absolutely awful, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. 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 
Okay. Yo, there's some weird accounts, man. There's some weird accounts. This is the Dominion player rankings. This is the this is the full Dominion. I bet these ones down here are 500 have got better gear. Yeah. And more kills. Yo, there's some weird ass accounts, man, in these new kingdoms. I tell you, some weird accounts. I downloaded the wrong farm bill. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Holy shit, man. Some of them accounts are really weird. I've never even looked at the global rankings on the Dominion before. That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, that's cray cray. Right. Can I finish this? No, I need to get another monster. Get that. Go, go, go. Look at Erica Tan. He also in the kingdom. No, that's uh, that Erica Tan. That's uh, that's a pay to play player. I don't need to look that up. I know what that is. Uh, that's an account that's being shared by multiple people and they're all boosting it with, with, with like three or four people that are working on it. That's not just one person's account. Uh, okay. Go. Look at Fish. He's in the neighboring kingdoms here. There's some. There, there's probably some big boys that are in the newer kingdoms that are, that are big. I can't be asked to bring them all up now, man. But yeah, I'm sure there's some. I'm sure there's some. But there's definitely a lot of big boys that are lower might. But there's some real weird ones. All the really high might ones are awful. Yeah, they're both. They're both. Yeah. Okay. You could say that, James. There's other things you could say too, but let's just let's not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. Uh I don't want to have that conversation. Let's just uh let's not even bring it up. Um because I got no proof, it's just my own conspiracy theories. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, cough cough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just leave it there, mate. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, cool. There we go. That's done. Nice. So we've done the we've done the dailies on the um on the on the on the on the free to play account. We've done the dailies on the thing. We got to do that. We want me to go and do the tokens, don't you? Okay. We'll do the. We'll finish off with the tokens. Give me two seconds, because I need to go and log into the other account now again. If you're not, is there a nap 20 in New Kingdom? Yeah, in in, uh, in World of Water, yes. Uh, if you're not busy, check out my guild. I'm not doing check it, guild checks at the moment. Sorry, bro. I got some, I got things I'm doing. Yeah, DA stream. Oh, shit. Hang on a minute. Why is it asking me to do that? There we go. I was lucky. Uh, yeah, I'll check it. I'll check it. No worries. And we can anyways. No, I'm sure you're not. It was one billion, but we beat him with our tip without beat them. Our R5 did good against him. We had more tier four players on. Nice. I always like it when people win when they're the underdogs. When they're going up against a big account that's stronger than them, but they manage to beat it. That's always really fun. I like that stuff. That's always good. When are you going to post the SSQ and TWK double rallies? Uh, probably tomorrow, Darius, because um, I haven't had a chance to edit today. I've almost finished editing the video. Uh, I started editing it yesterday, and I, I'm going to do a bit more this afternoon before DA and this evening, and I should be ready to post it tomorrow. Um, there's no point rushing it, you know, I'm posting it tonight. It's going to be a good video. So... Uh, I don't want to rush it and post it tonight, so I'll finish. I'll finish off the last finishing touches tonight, and then I'll be ready for you tomorrow afternoon. Uh, there was a Japanese event where they have to boost might, so they boost like crazy. Oh, is that what it was? Oh, that makes sense. 
So they basically just set up an account and whacked a bunch of tier three on it just to get the might up so they win the event. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, so we're gonna jump over to the rally trap here, and we've got a guild fest quest to do, which is 120 tokens that I need to use. So let's go ahead and I'll oh, bear. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Guys, Bear gifted 120 tokens, and I also gifted 100, and 100 tokens as well. I wish... <laughs> it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay. Thank you, Bear. You didn't need to do that. Yeah, he gifted 100 tokens. He didn't need to do that. I already did it from my main account. It is what it is. Sometimes he just does these things. <laughs> kick? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not. Why would I kick him? I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, I can just do another token quest. Yeah, it works out, right? It's my own fault that I'm in this in this pickle with Guildfest. I don't ever do anything on a Lord's Mobile account that and, and worry about what happens at Guildfest. Oh, I can't use these gems because Guildfest is coming. I don't ever think about Guildfest. It's never in my mind to think about guild first. I just do what I gotta do in the moment. Like I needed to, I just unlocked tier five. I needed to boost tier five up. So I use the gems. I don't sit there and think, oh, but we can't, but the guild first will be more of a, more of a pain now. I, I hate guild first. <laughs> I just, I'll get, it will get, we'll get done. It's just, I don't ever like do anything stressing out about it. Good morning, Garcia. How are you doing, bro? Tell you something, chat. I'm getting hungry. I'm feeling really hungry. I'm going to eat in a minute. I'm going to cook some food. I'm going to cook a munch tonight. I'm going to cook my... I'm going to get a pound of ground beef and I'm going to split it in half into two half pound patties. I'm going to make two big half pound patty burger patties. And with that, I am going to do myself a portion of scrambled eggs. Four eggs scrambled. And I'm going to have four chicken wings on the side no, actually you know what i might have six i'm actually feeling peckish tonight i might do six i'm gonna have six chicken wings with two half pound burger patties and four egg scramble on the side hell yeah man we eating good tonight it's gonna be good tonight mm. i'm gonna eat that and then i'm gonna stream da not straight away because da is not till nine Bear, why is every time I say your name, you appear? No, I gifted 120 tokens from my main account, but you also done it for 100 from yours as well, so. I have to do another token quest, I guess. Uh, Baron is not locked. Yeah, Baron's locked. Baron is locked. La 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 locked. Do you have any sources? Actually, Mark, there is a source that I use. Um, not all the time, but I do normally put it on top of my burger patties. It's called Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And even though it says red hot, it's not that hot. But I use that because it's very clean. If you look at the ingredients on the actual jar, there's no added sugar. There's no sugar. There's no seed oils or any oils for that matter. I'll show you if you want to see it. While the tokens are going, I can show you very quickly. Give me two seconds and I'll show you. And I'll show you very quickly if you just for those that are interested. Yeah, look. So this is the sauce I use. And I put that on my I put that on my burger patties and I put that on my steak. It's called Frank's Red Hot Original. And the ingredients are really small. You might not even be able to see the ingredients from there, but I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't read that. Actually, you might be able to. There you go. It's got fermented red cayenne peppers. It's got 
spirit vinegar, water, salt, garlic powder. And that's it. So the, the, the peppers, the peppers they use are fermented. So that's perfect. The only kind of, the only kind of non-meat thing I will, if I have any vegetable, if I ever eat a vegetable, it has to be fermented. I'm actually going to get myself some kimchi next week and try kimchi because kimchi is fermented vegetables as well. Human beings have been eating fermented vegetables for thousands of years. So yeah, fermented vegetables are okay. I just don't eat, to, I just, don't, I, I don't, I mean, I had some, I've had some sauerkraut a few weeks ago. A little bit of sauerkraut. I tried that one week. That was fine. I was I was okay. I, I had a bit. I did get upset stomach, but I don't think it was the sauerkraut. I think it was something else. But I thought, you know, I don't I don't have any upset stomach anymore. So that's good. You always get that in the start when you do carnivore. You get upset stomach. It's it's gone there. My stomach's fine. Um, I mean, I sit here and stream for hours. You don't see me run into the toilet every two seconds, do you? That's because I'm okay. <laughs> I, I I go to the toilet. I I do number. I'm sorry to talk about poop, guys, but I do number twos like once every three days now. Before I before I went before I went on carnivore, I was I was going number twos like once a day, sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times a day. <laughs> like once I went carnivore, it reduced heavily. You, you get a bit of upset stomach at first, but that's just your gut biome just sorting itself out. After a couple of months, there was no real digestive issues. You find out you you discover for yourself what kind of fat content you can you can you can take. Too much fat. And you're gonna get upset stomach, a bit of diarrhea, too less, too less fat, and you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be, you might get a little bit constipated. So you have the right amount of fat, and boom, it's perfect. So I know exactly what I do. I know what to do now as far as my fat content goes. I've got it perfect now. So I have no stomach problems at all. It's perfectly fine. People say you have to have fiber in your diet. That's bullshit. You don't need fiber in diet to go to the toilet. My stools are perfect, and they come every three days. And I, I don't need any fiber. So, yeah, fiber is just a myth. Fiber is a fallacy. Fiber is a myth. Your body can't digest fiber. All it does is just bulk your, bulk, bulk your stools up. That's what causes constipation and bloatedness is all the fiber people eat in their diet. Anyway, there's no seed oils in this. There's no sugar in this. So I just put a little sprinkle over my, over my beef to give it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of spice. And uh, yeah, there's no citric acid in it because citric acid is another thing that I try and stay away from. Citric acid. Citric acid is a highly processed chemical that food companies put into food to make them taste nicer on your taste buds to try and, you know, to tantalize your taste buds. That's what citric acid is. It's a highly processed chemical. So I wouldn't eat anything that's got citric acid in it. Uh, but yeah, there's no, and you find that you find a lot of citric acid in in sauces and mustards and all sorts of things like that. So a lot of sauces have citric acid in, and most of the sauces that you find, a lot of these barbecue glazes and sauces and stuff, are, are laced with sugar as well because they want it to be sweet when you eat it, so it tastes nice. Like they want because sugar's addictive. They want you to buy more of the sauce. Thing is with Frank's Red Hot Sauce, they don't need to put sugar in it or shit to make you addicted because it tastes nice as it is. It tastes really good. You put that on your steak or you put that on your burger patty. Boom. It's delicious. I just wish it came in a bigger bottle. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I don't need to have it. Like some days I don't have it. Some days I do. It just depends how I feel. Um, so yeah. Uh, number two is healthy. If you put more fiber in your diet, you'll be going more. Yeah, you will be going more. Like it's just waste because your body can't digest fiber. You can't digest fiber. It's impossible for the human body to digest fiber. So it's you're just all it is is you put more fiber in. Just, you're just gonna go. You're just gonna be going number twos more because like that's all it's gonna create is more stools. And that's why people feel bloated, and you know they got like some people fart a lot. <laughs> it's because they're full of fiber, man. And the worst thing is like doc doctors nowadays have no medical, like, hardly any medical training on. Um, on nutrition and like people go in there with medical conditions like IBS and diverticular and all this kind of stuff and the doctors just tell these people to go and eat fiber eat fiber eat fiber and all they're doing is making their conditions worse that's all they're doing is making their conditions worse and people listen to their doctors because they trust their doctors right they trust their doctors of course they trust their doctors they go there to make them feel better and then all the doctors do is give them medication 
they put medic give a medication and tell them to eat loads of fiber and it just makes them they never, they never get any better crazy man have you tried making your own mayo no i haven't but it's something i would like to try because i could probably do it with egg yolks and avocado oil i would i would like to try it mark but here's the thing mark I don't want to... You can get citric acid on almost any bit of fruit. Yeah, that's why I don't eat it. No, thanks. Um, I don't like bitter fruits. I like sweet... I like sour fruits. I, I, I don't mind a lemon. Put a bit of lemon in, like, fresh lemon. Like, put in my fizzy water, but I don't do it all the time. But that's natural. If it comes out of a fruit, it's natural. I'm not talking about the natural acids. I'm talking about the, the acid they make in the labs. Might not be citric acid. It might be something else. Different name for it. But it's something like that. Anyway. Um, why why you can't open your eyes? It's too, it's too bright. What are you talking about? My eyes are open. What? What's he talking about? My eyes are open. What are you going on about, bro? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mayonnaise. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Sorry, Mark. I was talking about mayonnaise. So I want to try making my own mayonnaise with avocado oil or coconut oil and um, and uh, what's it called? Egg yolks. The, th the thing is, I don't want to do that stuff right now. Like I want to stay as as like clear cut carnivore as I can right now. Oh, you were squinting, I asked. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to stay clear cut carnivore as much as I can, as cleanest as I can. I've, I have added a couple of things in here and there every now and then over the last four like i lost mostly over the last six weeks every now and then i might get some green olives as a little treat maybe i'll get myself an avocado a couple of weeks ago i got myself an avocado I had some avocado in the morning with my salmon which is fine there's nothing wrong with that um but i don't do it every week not every week like, it's every now and then i'm trying to stay as purist as i can just while i'm on the weight loss journey because i still got some weight to lose I'm not there yet. And I know what happened. What, the way, what I've noticed is if I eat some more of the indulgent things, if I eat dairy, for example, too much dairy, I don't put on weight, but I, it stalls the weight loss. So I'm thinking to myself, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep staying where I'm at right now on purist carnivore. I'm going to get down to my goal weight. When I hit my goal weight, I'm going to introduce some more foods into my diet. I'm going to start introducing things like sour cream, whipping cream, cheese, some other oils like avocado oil, coconut oil. I will, I will experiment making mayonnaise and stuff with those oils. Like I, I will start bringing in some of those things. I might drop bringing in some raw milk. I might start bringing in some raw, like some, some kefir. Like there's lots of different things I might start bringing in, like more fermented vegetables, like some kimchi or some sauerkraut, you know, like pickles and things like that. Like, I, I, avocados, like more on a more regular basis, olives. So on a on a more regular basis during the course of the week, I'll have olives, avocados, fermented vegetables, kefir, cheese. I'll start adding all that in, so it won't just it won't it won't end up being just a meat based diet with eggs it will end up being a whole foods diet including vegetables but they will only be fermented vegetables i won't just eat vegetables which are just off the shelf in the shop like and boil them and stuff i want fermented vegetables and i'll stay away from the starchy vegetables like potatoes and rice because rice makes your blood sugar go through the roof because it's really high in the glycemic index i won't touch bread I won't, I won't touch store-bought bread. Like, if I was going to eat bread, the only bread I would eat would be homemade homemade sourdough. It's made with, like, three ingredients. I guess I would eventually have some of that, but I wouldn't make it a regular thing. Um, so, yeah, like, I will, I will eventually bring more stuff into my diet. But it, around those kind of things, and it'll all be whole foods and stuff. It won't be no, no dodgy, weird stuff. And I won't... Look, and, and, and that way I, I, I won't put on weight in those things but i should maintain what i'm doing and another thing when i do add new things in like that i'll add one thing in at a time because i've basically been on an elimination diet for the last four months when i get to goal weight uh because that's why i did this 
to get back to my normal get back to a good healthy normal size which is what i'm what i've been doing um when i get to my goal weight i'll start adding one of those things in at a time each week because that way if i get sick or like if i get an upset stomach or it doesn't agree with me or if i get bloated or if it if i get like if it, if it breaks breaks me out in spots or something i don't know whatever if i get a reaction to that food to that food i'll know exactly what it is that's done it because being on this elimination diet doesn't make me get any reactions because i've eliminated everything so if i add one of those things in and i get a reaction then i'll cut it back out again that's the great thing about being on an elimination diet for such a long time i'd be able to put one thing in at a time and work out exactly what my body does tolerate and potentially what it doesn't tolerate so yeah it's raw milk full fat milk yeah not the same though so when you go into the supermarket ryan and you buy milk yeah you buy milk off the counter you're buying full fat milk or any milk that's in the store you go to walmart or if you're in england you go to tesco's or asda's or wherever you're going right sainsbury's you go into the shop to buy some milk all the milk on the shelf whether it's full fat semi-skimmed skimmed whatever you're looking at has been pasteurized and what that basically means is they've pulled the milk out of the cow They've put it into a vat and they've heated it up. They've heated it up and they've killed all the good bacteria inside that. Now, that the reason they do that, they'll tell you some bullshit about, oh, we do that to make sure you don't get any bad bacteria when you drink the milk. No, no, no. It's not that at all. The reason why they pasteurize milk is so it has a longer shelf life. That way, the people that make the milk, the big companies, the big business that makes the milk, they can literally make the milk, pasteurize it, bottle it, and they can ship it across the country or across the states or whatever, yeah? And get basically control the monopoly of the milk industry because they can put that milk on a shelf for a very long time. It can stay there for a while, yeah? Gives it time to put it in transit and deliver it where it's got to go. Then it sits on the shelf for a week, whatever it is, and then in your home in the fridge for a few days. You know what I'm saying? So they they do that to give it a longer pasture a longer life so they can in, they can actually make all the money off the milk sales prior to pasteurization the local farmers used to provide the milk to all the local villages and people around the states and in the uk there was all local farmers that milked their cows and people used to go down to their farm and get the milk and so there was loads of independent 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 farmers that used to actually make money from the milk sales but again like i just said somebody came along and said hmm there's a lot of money to be made from this milk business. I want to take control of the whole thing. And boom, pasteurization it, uh, happens. They get, they, get the, they get the lifespan for the, which they need. And then they basically make it illegal in many states in the US to actually even sell raw milk. They used to go around to the farms and pour all the milk vats out because they made it illegal. Same thing over in the U UK. You can't really get... Well, no, no, not in the UK as much, but it's more of America that happened. Just the government, isn't it? Taking control that like they always do. So anyway, I tried some raw milk because I have a farm local to me, fairly local, down in Suffolk. Um, I ordered uh, some raw milk from this farm. Um, and it turned up in a box with like an ice pack inside and everything to keep it all cool. It was really cool. I'd never tried raw milk before, but I wanted to give it a go. And milk always upset my stomach. I don't think I was lactose intolerant, but... No, I wasn't. I'm not, I'm not lactose intolerant, but milk always gave me upset stomach. I would drink milk and I'd be on the toilet, man. Like, it always gave me a bellyache and made me feel, made me burp and fart and run to the toilet. It was just always made me bloated, yeah? Um, but I got this raw milk. I drank this raw milk and I was perfectly fine. No problems at all. No bloatedness. No running to the toilet. Nothing like that. And that's because it's just different from being pasteurized. It hasn't been pasteurized. It's not been put through that heating process. All the good bacteria that, your, that feeds your gut is all inside that milk. All the nutrition is all inside that milk. It was actually really good to drink. And so, yeah, it was really good. Like, it, you know, you, you open it, you've got to drink it within a couple of days once you've opened it. But I mean, you know, it's fine. Did you get your berserker finished? No, not yet. No, not yet. It's still, it's still purple. It's still purple. I remember some woman drank milk from a cow and she got sick because something in the milk. Well, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't recommend putting your mouth around a cow teat and sucking a cow teat. 
like i don't know like i, I wouldn't personally do that <laughs> uh but like you know it's all good like the place i get it from they they test the milk regularly and stuff for what's in it and stuff to make sure it's all good like it's, it's fine there's three farms close to me who have raw milk in vending machines nice ever tried buffalo milk you got you're gonna stay toilet the whole day for sure yeah i've never tried buffalo milk i i, I don't think i want to try buffalo milk like i try and i, I don't really want to drink too much milk in general like just because like milk does contain lactose even if you have raw milk it does contain lactose which is sugar basically um so it you know i don't know i just everyone has different experiences with milk with, with milk I wouldn't mind it every now and then just for some nutritional value like uh, but i personally wouldn't i personally me personally i wouldn't drink milk every single day some people do and they thrive on it you know but me personally i would probably just have it like once maybe a, once every couple of weeks just as a nutritional boost because it does have good nutrition in it no milk drink beer enjoy it <laughs> says lun <laughs> yeah no 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 i'm not I, I haven't drunk alcohol oh my god i can't remember the last time i had alcohol Actually, I can remember the last time I had alcohol. The last alcoholic drink I had was a whiskey that I had at my mum's wedding, which was on the was on the fifth of oh, I'm going to get that wrong. She'll moan at me. That was on the seventh of October. I have been I have been dry since the seventh of October, two thousand twenty-three. So I haven't had a drink of alcohol in what one, two, three, four, five, like five months pretty much five months i've not even had one glass of wine a beer or anything nothing in five months i don't really miss it to be honest with you but like, i used to enjoy a bottle of red wine you know but i'll finish off this guild fest tomorrow i used to enjoy a bottle of red wine um like i'm going on vacation um in like two months just over two months time so in like 10 weeks i think like about 10 weeks i'm going on vacation with my dad and uh he was asking me the other day he was like you're gonna drink while you're on on, on holiday and i was like mm, i don't know i i don't think i'm going to i think i'm just gonna stay dry like i'll go out for dinner and stuff and i'll just have a glass i just have water i just don't feel the need to have alcohol i feel like i can have a good time and enjoy myself without having a drink i don't feel like i need a drink like what is the purpose of having alcohol i mean don't get me wrong i like a whiskey well, whiskey's nice whiskey tastes nice straight i love a whiskey but like i do i love it enough that i need it not really i mean okay it's nice to be social and stuff but i'm not really that bothered a little bit of wine a daily is good for your heart yeah you see a lot of people say that but i mean where's the evidence for that where's the study that proves that Where's the study that proves that wine is good for your heart? I don't think there's any real scientific evidence to prove that what's having wine is good for your heart. I mean, there's there's countries that drink a lot of wine, like the French, the Italians. They drink a lot of wine with their food and stuff. And so people sometimes associate that with good health. But is the wine the reason why they got good health? Or is it because they eat a very whole food diet? You know, like in the French eat a lot of fat, a lot of protein all their ingredients are all fresh like they eat a lot of fresh food not so much nowadays because there's a lot of fast food establishments now that have appeared over in france so most people are going into mcdonald's and god knows what else now are over there but that's not how it used to be over there like a lot of what they do is there are a lot of reasons why people are healthy is because of their diet as much as their drink i think there's a big difference between association and causation that 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 that's a big one like you could potentially associate red wine or white wine with good heart health but is there actually a causation of it actually happening there's a big difference between association and causation in my opinion anyway that's that's a, that's a, that's a it is where wine is basically fermented grapes yeah no i know it is i i know everyone's different exactly no i agreed the pesh everybody is different you just gotta find out what's right for you absolutely i totally agree with that bro everyone's different uh, I always watch live or live replay of yours. Just missed out on that drunk stream. It's me being a donut. That's what that was. So here, yeah, before I finish tonight, guys, on this particular stream, because I'm going to go take a break and get some food, I want you to know I 
I bought this. I'm going to try and see if I can open it. I haven't even opened it yet. Hold on. What's he got? I don't even know what it looks like. I'm going to... Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, alright. Okay. Do I need the instructions? I probably do. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. That's way smaller than I thought it was. Why does everything look really good on a website? I and mean, when you buy it, it's like, um, okay. Hold on. How the fuck does that go? Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, that goes in there like that, right? Oh, there we go. I don't need the instructions. Hold on. I'm, fi I'm building something. Give me a second. Hold on. Ah. All oh, right, so it's gonna go like that. Okay. Yeah, like that. Oh, I see. Okay. And then I can bend it. All oh, right. Okay. You guys are like, what is he doing? Hold on. Ah. Okay. That gets bent around like that. Okay, cool. What's this? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's why it looks so fucking small. Okay, hold on, I've messed it up. <laughs> hold on, I think this goes on here first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, that's better. <laughs> so. I was looking at this and I'm like, hang on a minute, that looks too small. No, it's, it's actually not. Okay. No, it is actually all right. I just got to twist this round. There we go. Now turn that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. All right, look what I got. Look what I bought. I bought the other day. Look at this. Look. It turned up today. You know what I can do with this? That's my phone. That's my phone on the end of it. I got a platform. I got a platform like that, right? And then basically my phone clips on like that. So I can put this down and I can record with my phone like that, looking down at something. What, do, 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 you, know, do you know what that means? What I'm gonna be at? So that's, that's, what it is. that's what it looks like, yeah? So I can record on my phone now like that. I can put it down on the work surface and I can have it. I can have it recording. You might be wondering what, why I would want that. <laughs> ball cam. This is the ball cam. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the floor in front, underneath my desk, underneath my desk, and this is gonna literally be pointing upwards like that, and it's literally gonna they're gonna literally video my ball sack. And then I'll have that in the corner of the stream. And then you guys can look at my balls while I'm streaming. There you go. No, no, no. It's not that, obviously. Yeah, yeah, Lewin. It's basically so... It's basically so... Um, no, it's basically so I can record some cooking stuff for you. Because you guys were asking me for some cooking things. So I'm going to record some cooking videos for you guys. Yeah, we're going get, to get, get the old chef hat on. And I'm going to be able to put this next to my cooker and point it down towards the like the frying pan or towards the pot, whatever I'm doing, chopping board or whatever. I can now be able to record some footage for you guys of me actually doing stuff over there. And then when I do a video, I can edit in some of the cooking stuff that you guys wanted me to do. So it's an editing tool more than anything. Yeah. It's an editing thing. I can use my phone to do things with. I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of cool. I could also use it to play Lords Mobile on my phone, man. Like, just put it in front of my desk like that and have it like that. And then I'll bring up Lords Mobile and I've got to sit. I don't have to hold the phone. I can just sit back like this and just touch the screen. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I could use it as like a phone stand to like put, just put my phone on and play games on. But no, I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it. I bought it so that I can actually record footage and not have the camera shaking because I'm holding the, holding the phone in my hand. So... I can recall with a phone. It's a little thing. I thought it was quite cool. I thought it was a cool little device that we could use. I could use to make some content with. So, yeah. There you go. 
cooking vids will be great. Yeah, I did say to you guys I want to make some cooking vids. So I, I went and bought the I went and bought the stand so I can actually put my phone on it so I can record properly and make some cook, cook, cooking cooking vids for you guys. Yeah. So let's talk about my 100 reloads yesterday. Let's not. On that absolute bombshell. Guys, I'm going to shoot off because I'm going to go make some food. Um, and you're not going to get to be with me today while I'm cooking. I'm going to go and chill. I'm going to go watch a couple of episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. Um, and then, will I cook any vegan food? I mean, I can record me throwing some potatoes out the window, Arnav, if you like that. Um, sorry, Linda. I do apologize. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble. Guys, thank you so much for watching the stream this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. I've just been doing some clicks and you guys seem to keep telling me that you're really enjoying me just and doing clicks and all the rest of it. And to be honest with you guys, I really enjoy these streams as well. So thank you very, very much, guys, for hanging out with me today. I do really appreciate it. I hope everyone takes care. You take care too. I will be streaming again. Yeah, you know, more of me. I'm back in like just under three hours. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. Hang on a minute. Wait, sorry. Game screen. We're back. We're back on Lords. Oh no. Give me two seconds. Look. That's the countdown. Can you see it, guys? That's the countdown. That's the countdown until the next live stream. Look, I'm going to make it really big for you. Look. There it is. Countdown to battle. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get today? I have no idea who we're going to get in DA today. Let's hope it's not 3v3 for the third time. <laughs> uh, but I'll be back in two uh, just under two hours and 44 minutes because we're going to be live streaming DA tonight. So you might not get a notification from YouTube because we've already done one live stream today. So if you want to make sure you don't ever miss out on a live stream or a giveaway stream that's coming up soon. Oh my goodness, don't miss that. Or you don't want to miss a video that I post, then make sure you join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Come and hang out in the Discord and hang out with over 5,000 of our community that are already on there hanging out in Discord. Plus, if you're a member of the channel, and if you're not, hit the, you can check, the, check it out by hitting the Join button below. You can also access the VIP area if you're a Worthy Knight member and come and chat with us in the round table room. Other than that, though, guys, that's going to be the end of the stream for today. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll catch you guys in just under two hours, 43 minutes. Until then, you know how this next bit's going to go. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out. Laters, guys. Bye.